Are you sick and tired of me talking about Cleveland yet? We're not sick and tired of you talking about Cleveland, We're not sick Zach. and tired of me talking about Cleveland. No, because it was so good while you were here. It which was so you, good what we did in which, Cleveland. Which was moments ago, simply. Yeah, moments ago. Yeah, wait. Hold on. So here's us in Cleveland. Snap. Now we're Look here. Look at us now. And um, Zach traveled so fast in that, what, like what? That's like a... A quarter of a second is a snap. Maybe even eighth of a second yeah, is a snap. Yeah, And you I went mean, all the way from Cleveland to Phoenix, Arizona. What's the math on that? Explain that. <laughs> you want me to do the math on that yeah, right now? do the now? math on that. Yeah, do no. the math on that. Um, I feel like, and I, I put this out on Twitter earlier today, we've entered our golden era. This is a golden era. It's going to be a golden era for like, half, what, 12 weeks? If that. Yeah, I feel like there's like periods of time with these golden eras, right? Like when we first, oh, I'm out of focus. There we go. I feel focus like when we, yourself. Focus when, up. We, when we first started the show, it was very trying to figure out what was going on. And then we found our footing and we had a great run of episodes. And on top of that, I was doing a ton of shorts work and we blew up regurgitated reflux subscribe if you don't know about it, but at the, um, you know, then our productivity bowl started to go down. Life started happening and, you know, things, you know, started to dwindle a little bit. And then we put our heels in the dirt. That was the first golden age. It's the first arc. Now well, like, what, after four, reevaluating 14 or 15 <laughs> through like 21, you'd say episodes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, then we did some reevaluating and there were some things that we had been talking about for a while and we decided to actually do them and pivot a few things. And by this point, you should be seeing a few of those things and the views, buddy, we so don't good. know what they're going to be like, okay, but well, put them I on gonna screen. Go with the bit that, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put them on screen, buddy. But um, who, who cares? Who cares if they paid off or not? There's, um, you know, it's a learning experiment. If it does, fantastic. That's great. I'm very happy. If they fail, then I had some fun with my friends and I learned a lot of things. Well, and I think that, uh, they will reevaluate and move forward from there too. That's a conversation I kind of wanted to have because with you, and, and I don't mind doing it here. Do you like having conversations with me? I do. And I actually started a podcast, if, you have, if you've heard about it. Where I, I, I would subscribe, I would subscribe so hard for a <laughs> podcast of that. Um, we should start a podcast. God, we're so fucking funny. We're so funny. We, I'm gonna move I, this I, down. I feel like this is too high. Hold on. You're good. You're no. I think it's no. It's perfect. No, try to touch the go. mic as much as you can when you do that next time. But yeah, yeah well, bass boosted. Um, so I, I have a lot that I want to update you on because it's been a month since the last podcast, almost. Um, but I wanted to have this conversation of like, I value passion more than viewership. I think like uh, pretty significantly. Mm -hmm. I, every time I make a video, I'm like, this is funny to me. Probably not funny to that many other people. You know, nobody's, I don't expect like subscribers or anything like that for most mm -hmm. of the stuff I do. Um, Chick-fil-A, you hate gay people. That's crazy. I put alcohol in this, so I'm sinful. Yeah. Does that is that counteract the homophobia? Yeah, it's gay to drink. So. Oh, right, right. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're if right. you get drunk, that's pretty gay, dude. <laughs> yeah, okay, now I understand. Um, uh, but I, the videos that we're making, I love making them. If they go up, they're the best they, stuff I've ever done, regardless yeah, if, of what other stuff we, we talk around them, but they're the best yeah, stuff I've done. If Tron said a couple minutes, sorry. And that's not okay with me, honestly, but, um, anyone that's late to the podcast is dead to me, dead to me. Exactly. Um, but if, even if these videos go up and they get three views and it's three of our direct friends and they don't make any more traffic than that, I'm just happy that I made them because they are so something I've wanted to make since like 2016. So I'm, I'm no, me too. I think there's, the there's, 
over the movie? I think there's levels to it, right? I think there is the level of like doing things that you're passionate about and make you happy and fully owning those things no matter what and not getting hung up on anything else. And then there's like pushing yourself beyond that. You know what I mean? And there's like some steps to like climb up and I'm just happy to be walking up some fucking stairs, dude. I'm right there along with you. where like this type of shit is the type of stuff that I've been wanting to do forever. Um, even if it's not exactly the way I want it to be done, like I've been talking about doing this type of shit forever. So I'm, I, I truly, truly love the process, right? I love the process. I love everything about it. I love being involved in it. I love being creative. I love working with you. I love uh, it even just existing on my hard drive. You know what I mean? Makes Mm -hmm. me very happy. But I also do enjoy trying to figure out how to level things up. You know what I mean? There is an element of like, what am I looking for in the future? That's like, I think I should try to be, you know, building on top of these things. And I don't, personally see anything wrong with being like okay here's this passion thing that we're doing now that we've made the thing is there any way that we could work together to try to push it out to as many people as possible oh oh yeah you know what i, I, I mean i want to i i, I want to just asterisk what i said i think that my thing is that i don't want to hey, sean's here and yeah. he's looking Ugly. Let's go, Sean. Sean, 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 Sean. Um, we love Sean. He's eating invisible pussy. Let's go. <laughs> and it, only invisible too, which is actually kind of funny. Uh, no, He's, but my thing it'd is, it'd be that weird if you were eating visible pussy in front of me. <laughs> I, I, the thing is, for me, is that, that I don't. I, I just want. I just want to. I don't want it to, the the marketing portion or the advertising or sending out to many people to overtake the the passion. Because the passion is always going to be number one for me. I think so. Um, yeah. You know. Hey, we, again, shared, I, I, we shared rewind. What are we talking about? Um, <laughs> I, I don't even know how you would label this conversation. Okay. It's more of like, what are you prioritizing in terms of like creating content? Is it your passion or is it like um, growth, like numbers wise? I guess is a better way to put it. You know, I, I, again, I, I think when we're having these conversations here now, too. Just just to be completely clear, it is my passion that I'm then throwing some extra like yeah. I like to do this extra shit to try to grow it on top of it. I do think it's a little bit different when like money gets involved. <laughs> Thank um, you, Sean. I, I um, just want to I just want to be uh, one second. My screen is split weird and I only see the right half of my face. Do you guys see my whole face? Yeah, I only see the right half of your face. Is your camera just in a weird position? But it'll record full screen. So this is just the preview you're looking at. We'll get your full oh, screen recording. Okay. I'm, this isn't I'm, the live. This isn't the live stuff anymore. When we were okay. doing live episodes, this would be a problem. But this is fully edited now. Okay. Okay. Or awesome. okay. you know, maybe we cut, maybe we cut up. some editing bits on this one for I'll Ben's just cut sanity. Sean but entirely, to be honest, yeah, yeah. Make that easier make, for me. he's actually going to spend more time editing it to blur you throughout the whole video. Um, <sighs> drinking is a sin. Oof. You're gay. Oh yeah, you're gay now, Sean. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, Look at this one. It's got cats on it. <clears throat> War Castle. Oh, that's pussy. I'm going to have you send me some beer because I'm curious. This is, this is not a good beer. They messed up with this beer. I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's why, that's well, why his face looked like it was disgusted. It, what's the reverse of a sponsorship? <laughs> the, uh, what, what's the word? Say, uh, a racial slur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that, yeah, that would be. We would, missed would Sean. Be um, okay, so. <sighs> But I, I I just wanted to sprinkle that on the top of the thing because I, I guess to say that the content that the viewers have been seeing for the last two weeks have been absolute passion flames with all the love yeah. Yeah, and it's fire. It's fire. Is this was this conversation um, prompted by the conversation Tristan and I were having in guest chat before this show? Uh, that played a very small part of it, but yeah. Okay. Because he's shitting out of the last video. <laughs> Again, I, I, I mean, I do, fine. I do think that there is, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, because, like, let me ask you this. Oh, I don't know. Because I don't want, I don't know if I should talk about this specifically. I, you want yeah, to back out? No, 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 no. Not, not about you, Sean. I'm just saying that video we were talking about hasn't come out by the time this will come out. Uh-huh. So I don't know if or I me. want to be for publicly right so like the fact that this is recorded and will be posted before 
what Tristan was reviewing will be published. I don't know if I want to like spoil things. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I think that potentially I should maybe save that conversation about the specifics of what we were talking about in guest chat yeah. privately. But that's not to um, you know, minimize the, the points that I'm trying to make. I don't know, man. I, I, I truly enjoyed making this shit. I don't doubt it at all. But is uh, the, the point I was originally trying to ask, though, is was the premise of that video something that you're passionate about? Was the subject of the video the last video of the series, no, the know, last CNS video? Yeah, yeah. Is, is, is that subject specifically something that you're passionate in? Or is it making people laugh and being truly involved in the creative process? Uh, obviously, mostly B. But the idea of A. Well, 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 well. There he is. How, how, we have five minutes of charge on these <laughs> AirPods, <laughs> brother. It's, yeah, we got a five minute charge of Tristan Warner. <laughs> I almost went uh, out bad. They're at 65%. Okay. Let's go, dude. That's not bad. That charging is, is this insane. An inside What's up, everybody? No. Yeah, yeah it, goes, it goes pretty quick. Tristan coming at you live from the Big Island. Big yeah, the big from the island, island of right? the big. From Wait, Kona. Zachary got a got a haircut. What the fuck <laughs> is going on here? No, no, I just hair banded it. I'm hair banded it. It can see if I do this. It's still long, buddy. Still long. I, uh, I, I can't see. You're lagging there a little bit, but very cool. Not yeah, you're me. you're like really far oh, delayed yeah. and pixelated. If I'm being oh. honest, buddy, <laughs> but we love you. We do. Am I, I do. Looks like looks Tristan like looks like me. Albert Einstein when he's pixelated here <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Looks like they don't just have uh, 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 forest fires in Hawaii; they have uh, uh, internet f- fires. Oh, what? That. What are you talking <laughs> about? What was that joke? <laughs> roll tide. Roll tide. You're about that to get fired. <laughs> yeah. That one was a wow. Uh, didn't. Japan like shoot lasers at Hawaii and that's what set them on fire or something. <laughs> no, Oprah bought a bunch of land and set it on fire or something like that. Yeah. What are both it of you talking jabs. about? Oh, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't know about the conspiracy that <laughs> rich people are this? buying are setting fire. To, you don't know about this? Is it like an insurance money scam no, or something? So, no, the idea is that they have bought a bunch of land for cheap now. Like they started the fire. So because uh, right after the big forest fire in hawaii oprah and like a few other people bought a shit ton of land or something so people are <laughs> yeah, like yeah oh. but rich people are gonna rich people you yeah, know I what mean, i mean I, I mean yeah i i, I don't believe it i don't believe it, but I'm, just, I'm just saying you don't believe it's, it? it's plausible i think i watched i watched a, a documentary on jeffrey epstein definitely possible oh god that's what I yeah like. i guess so yeah, we're well, in the middle of talking about i'm gonna get another beer i'll have fun Tristan, this is a good conversation to include you in because I feel like it didn't directly involve the conversation right. we had in guest chat, but it's it's semi-adjacent to it. Talking about prioritizing passion and yourself being truly happy with your own work versus prioritizing like growth to like an Ooh. audience and like marketing and that type of stuff. Yes, I have. We're having creative disagreements, this, uh, and we're going to get divorced. Is what's happening? Okay, well, don't don't do that because sixty percent of marriages do result in divorce. I will say that, and it's usually about uh, money too. It is usually about money, but you guys aren't making any. So, I mean, maybe that is a problem. <laughs> but, a this is about the potential money I could be money. making. <laughs> yes, I got to sell prime, money, but. I gotta sell Prime energy drinks. You wish you, you wish you can get sponsored by Prime, dude. I was working. I with, would, but every my, drink I drink, I call son. gay now. Okay, well, I was working with my what? boss's son. And he's like, "Can we stop at the gas station and get some Prime?" And I'm like, "No, I refuse to to give any money." Kick that little bitch to, out of the car. Uh, KSI, I love Logan Paul. I'm surprised anyone let no. you around their son. Yeah, I mean the the warrants came back inconclusive, so you know, not, not you know. That's good at least. That's good at least. <laughs> Hell yeah! Warrants yeah. be inconclusive. No, yeah, they're inconclusive. Yeah, okay, we gotta get an inconclusive yes. warrant issued. 
<laughs> the judge did not agree upon the warrant. Uh, the judge didn't deny it either. He just left convicted. it on the desk. Yes. Well, I couldn't confirm nor deny because I didn't show up to court that day. So I'm still on the run. That's why I'm in Hawaii. Don't give up my oh, yeah. address. So if you didn't hear from it directly, then it didn't happen. Exactly. But Tristan, also, Tristan, he, he also... Uh, there was a there was a, a thing he he talked about scamming his dentist and I'm worried that that might be that it might have something to do with the warrant. I'm oh, sure. that he ghosted saw, his dentist. Yeah. I saw that short and I and I laughed pretty hard because I forgot that I even said that and uh, I realized. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I thought it was thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I think funny. so too. I made that was back when I was still trying to make like a bunch of shorts from stuff. I made like six of them that were just sitting there for a while. But now that we have this big batch of brand new content that I'm so much more excited about, I was like, what? I was like, I don't know if I should delete these or upload. And I just said, fuck it. I'm just going to upload a few. So yeah. I think I might have like one more like tomorrow or something that's from the side. It, it won't even get posted on the main <laughs> stuff at all. But then again, we're in a golden age, baby. Main short today. Golden age. Golden Cra- age. Or, well, I guess when we're recording this main short today, IRL episode yeah. tomorrow. Trailer after that, CNS the week after that. It's, it's going to be it's crazy. Be it's going to be, it's gonna be crazy. Central nervous system for sure. That's Central right. Central nervous system. Getting it tatted on my eyelids. Dude, Tristan and Sean, I've known Action. you guys for so long. Both of you. Well, equally yeah, well, equally long. Wait, hold on. Why am I being excluded from this? <laughs> Wait for it, Zach. Wait for it, Zach. I feel Wait, like you've known me longer than... What, yeah, what oh, yeah, also, listen, that's too. <laughs> Sean's also being snubbed here, despite you respecting him. No, I think he's known me the longest, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> when are you guys coming to Cleveland? <laughs> I told you, I gotta... Well, my I big... Know, at least I have, one, I, have, <laughs> I have one plan to come <laughs> to Cleveland, <laughs> for sure. And that's when my hair is long enough to donate. I'm going to just take the 24-hour train ride and then have Alexis cut my hair. Okay. I'm going to go full shave. Okay. Yeah, you'll you'll look better I'm down finally. Whatever. Send us a picture. Of what? Whoa. Wait, what? Uh, Sean shaved. <laughs> hey, bro! Um, if you had watched that video that I sent it with the manscaped commercial, dude, you, <laughs> you yeah. were shaved. You certainly <laughs> shaved. Full shave. Uh, no, because uh, I love recording videos with Zach, but you know, sometimes I just want to smell something a little bit better. <laughs> Where is this supposed to come around and be nice to me again? I'm waiting for he this said, to wait be. Wait for it, Zach. Wait for it, Zach. You're still. Okay, I'm, I'm still waiting. I was <laughs> saying you were the only friend that was dedicated enough to come out oh. and hang out with me in Cleveland. Because Ben, even I feel like I've I feel like right. I get in everyone's nerves when I like spill out everything that I want to do. Um, and I feel like you and I are both people uh. that know what they want out of the content uh. that they're making. And I hope I never ever come across to you as being like pushy or negative to you in any type of way because i truly i respect what you do so much that we can both be this dedicated to something that gets three views on youtube yeah well, <laughs> that we it, both can can invest this level of effort into building something together that i want to say be this. all jokes aside i do respect that as well i respect well, that you guys get no view respect <laughs> as well. one thing one thing i definitely wanted to to say to you zach was that uh the I really, really, really enjoy our difference in editing style. Um, I think it's, I think it's showing. I feel like we, we wanted the CNS videos to be more consistent. And I feel like the difference in our editing styles is definitely showing, but I think that's okay. And I think that that's, I'm out of focus. I think that that is kind of a cool thing in some way that we have a large variety of stuff. Why am I still out of focus? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. You're very graphic heavy, heavy. I'm very like, cut you know i'm very like uh t- cut timing blah blah blah. so audio heavy i, I like the audio design the what dude i dude, love ben ben i've literally sent things, things, things to ben like can you just fix the audio in this <laughs> like the amount of I, dude, I, well i started i started with music i mean i started in a, in yeah. a studio and i was in sophomore year bad music like, yeah the, right and then yeah so that's that that's where I like <laughs> my love for audio and Damn. cues and all that stuff um i would love it if we're on the same editing platform because that would make like our workflow so much easier i would have yep. you just like i was saying do cuts and oh, audio yeah, and then just send the... me the project file yes yeah you know what's really I mean, annoying to me sick. kind kind of tangential 
is that I did a little podcast, two episodes with Haley, my my wife. Um, and I was t- right, you're rolling your eyes, but I'm actually married. <laughs> you're not married. I, I'm, you're I'm not literally, married. Okay. All right. Give me the well, certificate. Show me the fucking documentation. He's he's gonna go like pick up a fucking like detention that he got in school or something like that. He's like, look, anyway. it has her name on it. Anyway, so I was telling her like. Yeah, so I don't know anything about audio mixing, so just record this, and then I'll send it to Ben. And she's like, that's retarded. One of us should learn how to change audio. And I'm like, I've tried, and I have no idea what, like, I don't know anything about audio. And she spent, like, 30 minutes, and she's like, okay, I fixed it. <laughs> and I was like, how the fuck did you do that, bitch? Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Well, I mean, it's, 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 it it's a lot of, like, YouTube, uh, YouTube tutorials for, like, because I used to, dude, I used to be purely, strictly out of audacity. That changed. That shit changed quick as soon as I got audition. Well, you got some audacity. <clears throat> I know you're about to blow our minds with this marriage certificate, but um, I, I mean, I just want to add to that conversation too. That you never know where that stuff can take you. You know, the I remember when I was like 14 years old, and Ethan and I would watch these like Let's Players yeah, on YouTube, bro. and he bought a capture card. Um, I, I, you know, we wanted to be like these guys on YouTube so bad. But, you know, he started, he edited like a video and was like, this is so awful. I hate everything about this. And I just out of pure like obsession or whatever it was as a 14 year old was like, give it to me and I'll figure it out. And that snowballed into like a job now. So just let yourself learn shit. You know, you're gonna blur this out, right? Yeah, no, I'll keep, I'll keep all the names and like socials and stuff. It know. has my yeah, just my full address and stuff. You see that? I, I don't see the Whoa. third word. Oh, picture that real quick. Okay, got that. Huh? <laughs> November, when, did this, when did this you, happen? November you, 22, 2023. One, two, three. Why wasn't Maybe I invited to the wedding? Invite. What the fuck? I know. November 2022. Yeah, 20, what, two days after my birthday. Hello, I wasn't invited. Uh, we just did it at a town hall. Uh, we had to sign three pa- It was two or three papers saying that we weren't related by blood. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look the same. There, well, uh, you know what's funny? So it we signed two papers often. saying we weren't. We signed two papers that said we weren't related by blood. And then they were like, so where did you guys grow up? And Haley was like, oh, we grew up in the same town. <laughs> and we were like, oh, yeah, like how close? And it's like, oh, like right, basically right next door. And they were like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're related for sure. Though. Yeah, we're related for sure. <laughs> I'm sure you're not the first person in Connecticut or Massachusetts to, I'm sure you're not the first person in Massachusetts to bang their neighbor. Yeah, yeah. I heard that Boston is really nice, but you I also heard that Boston ass. is really okay, shit. So, so, okay, about this? so it depends. If you go to Southie, South Boston, if you go to Southie, you'll hear the N-word. You'll hear the N-word all the time. It's just wait, like, wait, wait, where okay, the mob, talk about this. Southie was where the mob used to be ran, but it's, it's like lo- all gentrified now. Yeah, it's, it's like a, lot of all like a bunch rich, of like really nice houses and shit. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah, when, when you say the N-word all the time, in what context? Well, yeah, now Ben wants to move. Yeah, like like they cut you off or whatever. They'll just be like, beep. <laughs> you know what I wait, mean? Wait, wait, no, no, I, I, okay. I guess my question wasn't as clear as I wanted it to be. Are they saying the hard R, or oh, are they R. saying? A, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 right. yeah, 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 yeah. That's like the running joke is that like you go to Southie and you'll just hear the hard R. Boston, Boston used to be even when I was like a little kid, a uh, kind of a rough city. I mean, the mob still existed until like the early two thousands there incredibly racist just like crime fucking like everywhere and then they had a bunch of these like projects to build infrastructure like obviously the big dig and everything but now they have like the greenway that runs through and everything it's one of the most walkable cities in america it's one of the most gentrified cities in america and it's one of the most expensive cities in america but it is drop dead beautiful there is some of the best food I've had in my life yep, in Boston. True. There are yep. some amazing people in Boston. I have family in Boston. But, you know, because it was so recently kind of shitty, um, there, you know, it, and like white shitty too, right? Like this isn't like a gentrification like thing where like a bunch of black people were kicked out of their homes or whatever. These are Irish folk that were kicked yes, out of their yes, houses. Yes. So I can be a little mean here so when I say shitty, much. you know? Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, it's it's over the course of my lifetime become yeah. that. But but because it's so recent, like, it was the point I was trying to say is like you still have a lot of like 
people out there in bars using the N word and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just but, Boston. No, but I, I, comple- I completely agree with, with his assessment of Boston. The North end has some of the best fucking food. And if you'll ever eat in your life, go to the North end of Boston. Apparently Chicago is pretty nice. Didn't know that. Shut it's up, like, dude. It's like, it's like a nice New York. <laughs> Move to move to Chicago once, dude. Uh, nice New York. Ben, do you want to record a video in O Block? Dude, that we <laughs> die. Do you think that we could get a so G pass? You a think, G re- pass? Yeah. Think, do you think a G pass? Do you think can get a O Block G pass? What's a G pass? Some of the G passes. Yeah. Um, it's like if you go to certain hoods, you need to like do a G check with like a certain gang leaders, and then they'll give you a pass to like do whatever business you're doing in their neighborhood. Can you imagine our funky asses going to Zach O Block knows. with two skinny ass cameramen? I told Ben multiple times when we were in Cleveland that we should shoot a white guys in the hood video. And I was like, no. Uh, <laughs> good, <laughs> idea. good idea. Because so I'll be uh, some of the hoods you drive through through Cleveland, man, are rough. Like yeah. some of the areas that we that we went to, hood, Ben. I was like, this like, fucking shit is like You should have done a white guys in the hood, but like just just a great neighborhood. Just like not like a bad place. Just <laughs> just like white guys cool. in the hood. It's like, like the most. <laughs> yeah. It's just a senior yeah. living <laughs> facility. What happened? People Zach's still honking. Zach's trying to get shot up. Get down! Get down! <laughs> <laughs> they heard me talking about O Block and popped up Lickety <laughs> Split. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Lickety Split removes my G pass from <laughs> from O Block. Okay. Today I said get diggy with it, and I was like, I think that's what people. Oh, say. you deserve to get shot. <laughs> yeah, you deserve um, to get shot. Actually, wait. I have a question. I, I, I love just seeing. I, I, I love seeing just random places. By the way, I truly love like where people live and just seeing I wanna, different. I want to see like this is gonna. I don't know if this is gonna sound like uh, whatever, like privileged or whatever. But I kind of want to go to like places where like Biggie Smalls used to eat here. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, oh, what are you yeah. talking about? You want to go? Mean. Like, it feels you like a landmark. Eat where Biggie Smalls <laughs> ate? Yeah, like or like oh, like oh, Eminem used to go to this diner. But like that'd be kind of cool. I guess. Dude, Jay right? Leno. Jay Leno used to go to the diner, or has gone to the diner in. Uh, there's a. I should say the Five Guys in Middletown, Connecticut. I see Guy Fieri uh, framed on a lot of restaurants' walls, and I'm like, wow, Guy ate here. Oh, he yeah. actually did eat at the Worcester Street Pizza in Manchester, Connecticut. Is it yeah, Worcestershire go. sauce? Say it. Say it, Worcester, Massey. Worcestershire Street Pizza. Pizza. Worcester? Worcestershire? Um, I wanted to know how uh, uh, Hawaii was. That is from true. Tristan. Now, but Tristan, that's like a nice making... house. That's a nice house you got What is bro making? Okay. Okay. <laughs> he's getting a beer. Okay. Well, now we know. Oh, I love those <laughs> underwears. I like to put a half, an entire half lime in my beer. Because I think it tastes good. But Wait, how do you fit I'm it in the sure beer? It does. <clears throat> how do you fit it in the beer? Oh, you squeeze it into the beer. I can't. Huh? Never mind. I squeeze it, it into the beer. I cut it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it in. Um, but Is yeah, that one of those Hawaii good. cans Thanks that have asking. the like stepped ridges to the rim? He's gone. I don't know. Does it look different than usual? I don't think so. No, the I rim. I don't know. You're like, tw- you're like 2P. I can't see. Two P or not two P? Right. No, You're like two P's right now. The... <laughs> uh, Tristan, it looks fine question. on my screen, so I hope it shows up on yours. It's and recorded. It'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, Tristan, how to how okay. true to life is uh, uh, Lilo and Stitch? Not the movie, but the show. Uh, I'm a terrible person to ask because I didn't even know they had a show. But to the movie, it's like a maybe. Four out of ten. It's not really, you know. Oh shit! They don't have, By the like, way, I wanted to say. I wanted to say. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to cover this. Although this is. Oh yeah. Uh, also, speaking of gentrification, I wanted to show you this beer, but this beer is absolutely going to dox where I am. So we all be quiet for You've ten seconds. You already showed something else. that yes. Doxed where you were. Well, I'm just saying, be quiet for ten seconds so I can show you this beer, and then you can like cut this. <laughs> You see that? Because I, I live next right next to this brewery. <laughs> well, they didn't know that. How would they know that without yeah. you telling them? Well, you're going to cut that, so it's called... <laughs> Uh, now I'm gonna look. Now I'm gonna go to Google Maps. You know my ass. I can't stop. I can't help. My white ass can't 
help but look up you on Google Maps. Quacker. No, it's okay. Quacker. I called this. So there's this. There's this. There's these two. There's a Dominican guy that I work with named Will. Whoa. And a black guy that I work with named Josh. And I keep. Josh looks like a Will, but Will only looks like a Will. So I call Josh, Josh and Will back and forth, but I always call Will, Will, because Will looks like Will. Yeah. And one time I called Josh Will, and he was like, that's got to be fucking racist. And I, I was like, damn, trick daddy, don't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> and he just fucking burst out laughing, and he goes, all right, all right. <laughs> all right fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Do you remember how racist we were in high school? That shit was crazy. High school? <laughs> I'm not associated with these people. I um I was talking to him about something, Josh. I was talking to Josh about something. I forgot what the first word of that beer was, so I can't yeah, find I you. I called him uncultured, and he's like, "You're really gonna call a black guy uncultured?" And I was like, "Yes." <laughs> and he start, we just started laughing. Uh, oh, I actually shit. love. I love. I love working with Josh. Josh is really cool. Where? Oh, I have so many updates. Um. I work at a restaurant. Yeah, Did I, I tell you like, that? The only thing I heard, yeah, I, I heard you worked at a restaurant, but have you been, mm-hmm. had, do you enjoy it? Are you looking anywhere new? How's it been? Uh, so I just got a serving job at a 99s because serving is where the oh, money is. I missed is. the 99s. Oh, wait, it's the real dog, deal. It's dog shit. And the one that Don't I- Did they bring is, back the potato skins? Uh, yes. The one, the one I work at is impressively depressing. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, I went, I'm going back to school for massage therapy. That's the thing I'm doing. Really? Uh, yeah, That's going a real to school thing for massage therapy. <laughs> so in 13 months, I'm going to own my own massage therapy. That's, that's the plan. I Just call- letting you know, when you do come out to shoot content with us, you are giving, a video will be, Sean yeah. gives all three of us back massages. <laughs> yeah. I want for a like four days prior. No, no, I want a happy ending. I'll pay the $100 extra. <laughs> this is a YouTube video. <laughs> we have yeah. OnlyFans. We do have, actually, we, do, we I'm not even joking, we do have an OnlyFans You know now. what's so funny? Haley would probably be mad, but not, it's not like a deal breaker. She's, she's yeah, positive. You're, she's, she's kind she's, of trapped now. She's she's <laughs> positive that I'm gay, like for like specific people. She's she positive. married you. Yeah, she's positive I'm gay, like for Ben. She's like you're gay, definitely gay for Ben. And I was like, well, yeah, that's but true. I mean, like that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Sure. Guys, I'm that upset that I didn't. I, I, I want I wanted to spend some time to do the first news segment of 2024 this week. Okay, but I got um a little sidetrack with like my actual job today. So okay. I couldn't do it, okay. but I feel uh, bad because there's a news story. There's okay. a news story that came out today okay. that, and I, I, I have to bring this up on the, okay. on the show. Um, but I feel so bad that it couldn't be a part of the news segment. Okay. This, the New York post had an article that came out this morning it says Biden age 81 tells white house aides the key to a successful marriage is quote unquote good sex. Yes. He said that for sure. He said that. Yeah. And he, he's he, Biden was, I, went on the, I know, oh, that's my Joe. Oh, we did that? it, Joe. Well, oh, fucking A so, is part of good sex, dude. So, Zach, that means <laughs> me and your relationship is fucking flames after Cleveland for sure. Speaking of, nice sweatshirt. Did you get that from the airport? I got it from the airport. This was the was one I saw bucks? coming in. I told you about this. I saw it coming in, and I was like, this sweatshirt is dope. It looks like a 1920s like football jersey yeah. or something. Yeah, uh, it, it, I, should I, get I the leather it. hat. I know I should, but so uh, I, I didn't get it on the way in because I was mm. like, I have no clue how much money I'm going to spend here or what we're doing, and I just I was tired of flying to be honest with you. But um, on the way back, your arms, your arms were tired. <laughs> yeah, oh, fuck yeah. you, buddy. But His on the way back in, around. on the way back out. <laughs> Yeah, I parachuted. <laughs> um, but um, on the way back out, I was like, how much are those things? Like, is it worth it? Yeah, this yeah. was like $18. Wow. I was like, oh, that's a, I, I thought for like an airport, this would be like 50 bucks. You know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Like all the shit at the airport Wait, is, is it, like so expensive. So is it uh, when you, uh, never mind, I'm retarded. Go ahead. I guess everyone in Cleveland's poor as shit. So yes. I could just go there yes. and fucking steal, yep. get a steal. That's, you're exactly right. My 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 fucking flight was like just a little. It was like less than two hundred dollars for round trip across uh, the country. It was crazy. <laughs> so so, 
the, the, the Cleveland trip. Okay, I, I'll tell you guys while we're here. In retrospect, this is about a month ago now. Some of the best, uh, definitely the best time I've had in Cleveland thus far. But like, we, we, didn't, do, we didn't leave your house. We, we did. barely left your house. How was it your we best did. time in Cleveland? We left once. <laughs> we did. No, I'm saying not not like in. I'm saying that since I've been in Cleveland, that was like the best okay. portion of time. Yeah. Okay. Um, fair enough. But Zach, okay, complete tangent, dude. You'll never guess what happened. It's big wait, news. Wait, what wait, happened, can like, you Thursday. actually pause this so I can get some ice cream? Well, you don't care about the news. <laughs> ice cream's over. I do, I do care. I do care. Can you, can you, you, you won't care about it. You generally, generally won't give a fuck. Tristan's on a 5% charge right now or something. Okay. All right. Just say, just no, say no, you, can, you can tell we're me good. later. No, no, no. I think we'll the wait reason for you. Wait, 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 the wait, internet's got to go so far, you know? He's, okay. he's right. What? He's right. What the internet has to go so far. Oh yeah, he's right. No, he's I think right. the internet has to like it's got to bounce off satellites and go across the ocean. It's just there's going to be a delay. Speaking you of that, Tristan, I mean? do you ever worry about being like nuked, like off the face of the earth? Yes, I'm like if there's a zombie apocalypse or anything. One, I'm just I'm on an island. You might be in the safest I'm place. Sure flights, space. Well, maybe, but also it's like. Everyone, it's, I feel like it's going to just turn to shit a lot quicker than the United States. Yeah, you'd be playing even Dead Island Hawaii IRL. Is a part of the United is, States, even though a lot of people didn't really want to be a part of the United States because Hawaii got dead fried by America. You know, the whole, the whole thing. What, but, is the, uh, what is the top speed yeah. limit in Hawaii? Huh? I think there aren't major, like the major highways are two lanes and it's probably like 55. That's baby speed. Isn't the whole island yeah, yeah. like two miles long? <laughs> no, not the big island. <laughs> not, the, the big island is so big it can fit all the other islands inside of it. It's like a, it's like two hundred miles. Oh, we got a tour guide in our midst, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I keep thinking back to you and all the words. Sean just reminded me of one of my favorite clips of all time. Good, it was during you. like a, a Senate hearing. Uh, where the military was, uh, it was like some kind of like finance meeting between the Senate and the U.S. military, and this senator was reading over. Was it a senator or congressman? Either one was reading over this like finance report of the U.S. military, and he was concerned that Guam, that if they put a U.S. military base on Guam, he asked the military commander, "Are you concerned that the island might flip over and capsize into the ocean?" <laughs> it's one of my favorite clips that exists on the really? internet. People, people bring up the one with a snowball all the time where he's like, if it's global warming's true, how's the snowball in here? Blah, 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 blah. Well, well, but wait, the favorite but that one ha- is the senator thinking that an island's going to flip over well, if you put people on it. That happened in Club Penguin when the, everybody got on the right side of the iceberg. Yeah, so, maybe that guy was just true. super into Club Penguin. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but I want to hear, Tristan, I, I, let, me, <laughs> let, me, let me ask you a few questions, my, my boy. I also want um, to get you yes. off this, but you you were pausing another story already. So, oh yeah, I'll get to that. I, I just want okay. to know, Tristan. Last time you were on the podcast, you seemed to be not doing too great. You seemed to be uh, un, uh, unhappy with your current situation. Are you feeling better now? Uh, I'm still unhappy, <laughs> but why are we laughing? Everything, things seem to be going good. Uh, I'm not. Un, I'm not really unhappy. My work is kind of shit, but you know, I'm just cleaning pools all day, which it's like ten hours of just like in the sun cleaning pools. It's kind of. It's kind of. You know. It's kind of whatever. But it's kind of hard to be upset on an island. So I'm enjoying it. Yeah, you that's know. interesting. Do you, you, do, you, so do you like? Do you, do you get up like early and go for? Because I'm not gonna lie to you. I have a very romanticized view of hawaii i imagine you just like wake up to like the sunrise <laughs> dick out you know and you walk around yes. the beach <laughs> you know what i mean like no no absolutely i have like okay word of the day lanai which means is hawaiian for porch i have a porch in my room and like when the lanai. sun sets it like sets it, there you go lanai it sets right in front of me and like it's great because I'm able to like get off work and be oh, yeah, like, yeah, I want to go moving. surfing. Okay. And the beach is like two minutes down. So it's nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So can I can I add just a little bit to that? Go ahead, sir. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went to I went to Florida uh in late January and uh 
I am not, I don't like the heat that much, but the people that I visited are very close to the beach and they're within walking distance of essentially a port city. So I could, I just walked in, you could get ice cream and just walk on the beach. And it was like probably some of the nicest, most relaxing time that I ever had where I just like, plus everything was planned for me. Like we would just, Haley and I would just wake up and they'd be like, okay, today we're going to go see manatees. Like, fuck it. Sure. I'll just bring the beer. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, like, yeah, yeah. That sounds great. So yeah. I know that's I know that's super romanticized, but I have that. Like, Haley and I no, go to Florida once a year, very similar. and I use it as like a, a a motivation for like anytime I like the rest of the year. Anytime like I don't feel like doing anything or working towards money, I'm like just think about the vacation in Florida. There you go. Well, I'm well, I'm happy that you had that yeah. moment, Sean. I'm happy that you can uh, experience your dick out on the beach. I'm not, Tristan. I'm happy that you can experience your dick out in Cleveland, uh, Zach, to be honest. Um, See, having your dick out in Cleveland is a much more visceral experience than an island. Because yeah. in an island, they're like, oh, that shouldn't happen. But they kind of get it because you're on an island. In Cleveland, it's like, uh, it's it's an issue. Or you were turning, you were, I could hear you in the bathroom. You were just like, you were sitting in the center of the room and you were turning. You were hitting <laughs> every wall with your fat cock. Go ahead. What? You go <laughs> big bonk, big bonk, bonk around every single wall. It's pretty great, to be honest. Uh, but oh, uh, big news, Zach. Speaking of speaking of when you were here, uh, enormous news happened Thursday. Yes. Very important news happened Thursday. Suica got a two-player update online. No, nope. oh, I gotta fly. I gotta fly <laughs> back. Fly back out. <laughs> yep. Yep, so we could get a two player update. And I, ben, I, I thought the update, Ben, I just thought of this. Are there any arcades near you? I don't know. Fuck you. Uh, there's a desserts sweet shop in University Heights that has two claw machine arcade game things that blare music at you at random. Yeah, it's pretty, actually, it's pretty terrifying. <laughs> but it's a, it's a nice place. Hey, hey, love you. Forget about it. You know what I mean? Forget about it. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, so anyways. Sean, Sean, you're on a YouTube video right now. And you're going to still be on your YouTube cleanse at the point where this Do you want to set that up more? Or do you want to like tell people what that means? Uh, well, I want to ask Sean. Yeah. About his YouTube cleanse and how it's going. I want to make a... I actually unironically want to make a video about it. Because uh, this is going to sound so cringe maybe. But like, I've been learning a lot about myself by not watching any YouTube. I have, I am horrifically anxious all the time now without YouTube. I'm doing, just to set this up, I'm attempting to do- eats with no YouTube? I'm trying to do 30 days of no YouTube and I am literally going insane and it's not like, it's not great. It's not great. I've I've read a lot. I've been reading a lot (laughs) and I'm still going crazy, (laughs) so. Um, so, yeah, just explain like what what have you learned? You. Explain explain you the, the steps. Yeah, say so, day one did this. Day two, how'd you feel? Blah blah blah. Actually, one of the things that I wanted to do is I think I'm going to try and figure out a way to make a chart, or maybe just go to Fiverr and have some fuck make me a chart. Um, um, some uh, to measure fuck. my screen time. So <laughs> to measure my screen time because my screen time was like it was literally like half my day, if not more than half my day was screen time my phone was on and more than half of that was youtube so i'd be like i'd like drive home from work and sit in my car for 30 minutes from youtube and the only reason i would get up out of my car to go into my apartment is because Haley would text me like are you coming inside and then i'd be like oh fuck and then i'd come inside and go to the bathroom and sit on the toilet for like 15 minutes watching youtube videos and then i'd sit on the couch and i'd have like i'd be like eating dinner and it, it was just dog shit so then i like i was like okay cold turkey, no YouTube. And I have been having panic attacks almost every day. (laughs) Like it's been kind of crazy. Just from like, you you can't, there's nothing that can distract your brain from doing the circle. Yeah. 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 It's, and so like reading, reading has helped, but I've noticed that an overall state of anxiety has been elevated from like, I don't know, like a three or four to like a seven. Like it's kind of insane. Reading though is like a video that, Tells you what you know <laughs> instead of having to look at it. I think a video. He's right. Would be he's sick. Right. 
Guys, guys, I was thinking about Boston's North End food again, and Giacomo's was the place that I I, I went to Giacomo's. last. They had a great. I don't know. Am I pronouncing that right? Giacomo's, Giacomo's, Giacomo's. I had an eggplant pasta dish that was to die for. Let Sean finish his it's story. An Italian you place. I think I did finish my story. North End is right. Italian. Well, I just want to. I just want to know you're doing good, Sean. I just want to make sure you're check in. Make yeah, sure you're doing um, okay. no, yeah, I'm doing. Sean, doing I'm kind of doing. If I'm being a hundred percent honest with you, right now I'm doing very poorly, but I will be fine. <laughs> so it's okay. We have distractions. Well, what right do I got to do to lift all my homies up? No, I'm no, sorry. No, like, no, no. I, like, no, no, I want to no. be. I, I want to. I, I want to be clear. I literally am seeing a therapist separate from this. I am literally. I don't give a, a shit about that. And I'm, I'm asking at, you as a friend. What can I've, I be doing for you guys to help out my buddies? Well, I'm, Depression I'm getting, isn't I'm real. Getting, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, my the therapist is, actually told me that interrupting me is triggering, <laughs> and that I should be asking my friends for them to stop interrupting me. It would greatly help my. Ma- I'm taking a 30 day cleanse of being interrupted. No, no, no. Actually, so so I could go into why I'm seeing a therapist, but I have talked, which I don't. I really don't mind. But just to be what very. Was that? What was that noise? So what did charted, I hear? Bro. Someone charted. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's tweaking out. Just to be very quick about it, I am talking about the issues that I'm having with a professional. I will be fine, but I am going through a very rough mental state right now as I've cut yes. out basically all forms of entertainment except from going on walks and listening to Haley talk about her day. Are you? Are you <laughs> ask you like? Do you feel like maybe like I? I feel like entertainment is like kind of a crucial part yeah, of like so my life. Therapist, and like my therapist has said that I probably should not have like gone cold turkey, and that it's probably yeah, it's I'm probably, probably over compensating. And I told him, "Fuck you!" Fuck you. <laughs> I literally was like, <laughs> well, I mean, "It makes you happy." Yeah, I, I was like, it's about having discipline and control over my environment. And he's like, I think you're trying too hard for that. And I was like, shut up. <laughs> and he was like, okay. <laughs> you got to find the uh, shirt, I, I, I think on. that you're, uh, Sean, I love you. And I think that you are, you're doing an experiment to find something in yourself or if not better your life. Yeah, you that, are I mean, a that's fucking point, retard. Though. You're just retarded. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as much I say that with all the love of my heart. You're yeah. doing this to yourself, my brother. <laughs> yeah, no, and but what's crazy is what motivates me is how rough it is. Cause I literally yeah. I, I have not You have like emotional BDSM. Well yes, but that's not what I'm getting at. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have not slept well in like in like almost a whole month. Like I wake up in the middle of the night like freaking out and my brain is like we need to be doing something, we need to be doing something. And then I mm-hmm. realize like that something is watching YouTube. Like I re- so I like and why I why specifically mean- YouTube? I feel like YouTube's gotten bad I, recently. I, no I, offense, I, I'm trying to make stuff delete, for YouTube. Cuz I deleted everything. I don't have TikTok, I don't have Instagram anymore, so I was just like actually, you know what's crazy? I was going to I was going to say this, but oh. I got just I do watch some porn, but it's really not that much. Um I was the reason I, I had originally brought up screen time was because my screen time was like half my day, all of it YouTube. And then I cut out YouTube. And so my screen time went from like eight to nine hours to 14 hours a day down to like two or three hours a day. But now Bro, it's, Bro watches YouTube like it's a full time job. Yeah. But now it's now it's back up to eight hours a day. And what it is, is what happens is I'll hardcore pornography. No, I'll show you. I'll unlock my phone. <laughs> And then I will scroll right to my Google feed and then I'll just scroll down my Google feed until the bottom, scroll back up to the top and refresh. That's so sad. And it's bad. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. And Haley was like, you need like actual help. I'm like, I'm getting help. And he's telling me to watch YouTube. This fucking loser. <laughs> this you fucking- just got to download Candy Crush. You just got to become one of those moms. So no, you know, you know what I got to say, Sean? What, what, so entertainment. Are you trying to cut out anything anything that's entertaining um, to you? No, so so in my head I was like, oh, I'll cut out YouTube. That'll give me plenty more time to study chess. Haven't even played chess. I haven't played chess at all. Um, I, like, you, you, chess you, you, went away as soon as TikTok. YouTube went away. You're I off, have you're no off TikTok. TikTok. You're off Instagram. You're off no YouTube. Inst- yeah, I got nothing. Do something I literally business watched, oriented. Dude, okay. If you spent that time doing business related things, like focusing on making money, have you thought about that? Well, that's why I'm I'm doing my maybe homework. you should get into mewing. Oh, that's the uh, what is that? Yeah, yeah, it's the jawline oh. thing. Um, I am doing my homework. He's got a great I am studying. What? 
Yeah, I do. Got, I got. Well, I'm just saying he could refine it. I, I'm not telling him he needs to refine his jawline. I'm saying it's like a hobby people do. A hobby. I'm a mewer. Anyway, so I am yeah. Go on TikTok. Oh shit! I was gonna say go on TikTok and look at mewing edits, but that's kind of the worst thing to tell you to do right now. No, I'm trying to do 30 days. Ben is actually the one who told me to reset the counter because I did relapse. I did watch a YouTube video. If you must know, the YouTube video was CPR a minute. CPR for beginners. No, it was a minute and 30 seconds long, and it was what happens if you drink 100 hair tonics right before a cutscene in Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> You picked the weirdest shit to lapse on. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a good video. It was a good video. I'll tell you. Like his Too hair good, just apparently. grew. His hair grew in the middle of the cutscene. It was cool, dude. It was so, cool. Uh, so, okay, Sean, let me, let me ask. Okay. Oh, I also lost like 10 pounds, which is a problem. Probably from stress. Trade with me. Yeah, from stress. Trade with like me. literally from stress. Yeah, it's literally Sean, from stress. Sean, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a cheat code and it, it might, it might, it might break, it might be uh against your um your personal little challenge you're giving yourself okay i say okay, little it's clearly not little no, there's this thing little. called one piece okay <laughs> there are a thousand episodes just <laughs> when you're when you're it helps me fall asleep i watch like three or four episodes right before bed of one pace unironically right before bed helps me fall asleep i i used to use youtube in the same way and i did that with naruto when i was watching through naruto no, I, I'm just I I'm reading a bunch helpful. of Kurt Vonnegut. You know Kurt Vonnegut? He's a great author. That He's makes funny. me go to sleep when I'm not tired. <laughs> that's uh, reading. <laughs> but is that what you do yeah. before bed? Yeah, that's what I do before bed now. An hour before bed. I just get in bed. I shower, brush my teeth, sit in bed, and read a book. Well, it's, I'm it's kill a weird myself. thing with I'm, I'm <laughs> going to kill myself. <laughs> it's a, it's a weird <laughs> thing with like watching YouTube or whatever before going to bed because even mm-hmm. when it's just running on your phone and you're, un, you're unconscious and you like maybe like you know come out of sleep a little bit and you hear right it, now my phone like, is unlocked and I am looking at what the hell is that? You see that? That doesn't count as a video. That doesn't count as a video. You reset the counter. <laughs> when you um, get out of no. Giacomo's, you gotta go to Mike's Pastry. By the way. Who is this guy? More, more like more like Giat Homo, am I right? <laughs> like you need to get back no. on TikTok, bro. They got new words now. <laughs> yeah, they've invented a whole new language. You, know, you ever heard you of smaxing? Oh yeah, Joey. Joey that kind of goes hand in hand with mewing. But what? Um, um yeah, but trying to help you get better. Holy shit! I hope that I'm sure you heard of. I'm sure it's a little dated. I'm honestly you, sure I will. I, I just I unironically am going through some kind of mental withdrawal process from entertainment. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but I, I genuinely think it's good. But you I know, disagree with your personal right, we're not, we're decisions. Not games. Is that off the list? Is that off? No, I don't. I don't have any games on my phone. Just become I'm, a Buddhist. Okay. But you're not. Just home, get I mean, into like your, Buddhism on your phone. I get on your phone. Yes. But like when you get home, you're not playing games on your computer. You're not. You're not. I haven't enjoyed a video game in like a month. That's fair. Yeah, video games kind of suck now. I'm really enjoying. I will say, I'm really enjoying Dark Souls. I've been very irritable too. Okay, give me an so, example. I mean, for like video games. So like, yeah, I was just in the middle of swallowing ice cream. Um, I played Civ Civilization a lot. But oh rec- my god, I love Civ. But recently, recently, <laughs> I've just been like, I do. I hit play now. And then barbarians spawn near me, and then like I'm sending my troops out Fuck to like barbarians. Yeah, and then suddenly I have like twelve barbarian horsemen, and I'm like, it's turn twenty five, bro. I don't even have a religion yet. You know what I'm talking about? Like, get the fuck out of here. Get this, Sean. I'm going to go super niche here. I'm going to get all the viewers off the episode because I got some shit for okay. you. If you play Civ Six on PC, then you get the DLCs. The alternate of the China leader. Do you know what his name is? Who, who's the leader of China? Anyways. He has this alternate power. There's an alternate version of him. And that power gives you the ability to convert. If you, if you have a melee unit and there's a, a melee unit of a similar strength, you get to convert that melee unit to your like side. <clears throat> and what that means early game, this guy on YouTube combined it with the zombies horde mode. And so what he did, the, the whole point of the zombies mode is like... Too. Yeah, but there's also a zombies mode. Yes. In in Civ. Um, but the point of the zombies mode is like if you kill one, then two more come, or they're like stronger or something. Yeah, like yeah. So the more you kill them. But what this guy did was he just converted all the zombies. So like by mid-game, he just controlled a global army of zombies 
that the more they killed, the stronger he got. Yeah. And he just fucked over all those barbarians. He fucked over all those yeah. civs. Yeah, yeah. My biggest problem with Civ right now is that um you fell what, was I, what was I saying? <laughs> My biggest problem with Civ uh right now is that yeah, I um try and do I like doing stuff like, oh, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a culture victory. I'm gonna do a science victory. I'm gonna I'm gonna and then suddenly everyone is just like well, you don't have a big Attacking army. You. You've transgressed their their plans for a big army. They want allies with big armies. And I make a big army, and they're like, your troops are good near our border. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck you, bitch. I'm taking your town anyway. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like the point of the game is negotiating an almost, like, unwinnable amount of powers and, yeah. uh, in, in, like, priorities. Yeah, to- I mean, there are definitely things that I would change. Like, there's a game that... Uh, a friend group from Ben and I's place called Kingdom Reborn. There are things I that I would told me about that. There are things that I would take from that game and put in Civ. I like Civ a lot more. I, I've played both. Yeah, I know enough that I like Civ more. But there are changes that I would make to Civ from Kingdoms Reborn. A big one would be I fucking hate that Ugh. in Civ. Um, Jesus Christ, I don't know how many there I've had. Um. In Civ, you can't really get too granular. Is this a with fucking your Civ podcast? Jesus. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. No, hey, There's hey, things hey, I, I would take from thought, Halo Three least. and put in Civ. Civ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are, oh, Halo Wars, fucking amazing. I'll give you that. Halo I never Wars. played Halo Wars. Are the only Halo games I've never played. Well, that's Spartan Assault and Spartan Strike. Zach, you played I've those? played Spartan Assault and Spartan Strike. Damn, mm-hmm. I haven't actually. That's funny. Did yeah, I've not played Halo Wars though. Halo? Oh, I've watched the. I watched the. Oh no, I didn't watch any of that. I'm we still got. We, Zach, a, we dirty... have to watch. We have to get you in watching, uh, season two of Halo. Actually, <laughs> maybe. You guys see this? Oh, you have to. You, have, you haven't watched season one. That's right. I, that's the conversation. No, we had. never mind. I haven't watched a single episode of that. I'd like to watch. Shit. I'd like to start watching season two. Do you know when? Do you know? <laughs> he said he's irritable, dude. Don't say that. <laughs> Sorry, don't kill yourself. Don't tell your shrink about it. Ben, do you remember that time I spent like 20 minutes describing how I sent a boat around the world in Civ on the podcast yes, one yeah, time? I do. I, I, I very much recall. Yeah. It was a very was intricate funny, no description of like... When are we going to watch Halo Season 2? I don't know. Hey. Well, are there 23 flavors in there? Hey. Dude! That candle? I bought that for my mom. I have really? a, I have the Diet Coke version downstairs. You guys should really? get uh, a branded regurgitated podcast uh, candle, candle from uh, and it David's smells like wife. Ben. David's wife. Ooh. <laughs> Luna. Dude, so when That'd I do, when I open, I swear to God, in 13 months, probably 14 months because I have to get licenses and stuff, but it's a 13-month program. When I open up my own massage therapy uh, thing, I think one of the big things I'm going to do is like try and get David's wife to make me a bunch of soap to sell. Yeah, yeah. Her soap is great, and it smells great. Her too. soap is fucking amazing. Can we can we do a commercial for? Dude, I'm gonna film a commercial. Can I get ad. some of David's soap? So- okay, pause. Uh, so we actually did this fake ad for these soaps. I talked to Kat after the fact about getting a promo code, and she provided it. So this kind of fake jokey ad we turned into a real ad. Okay, just had to leave a disclaimer. Dude, on I yeah, I'll send you the link. Her his wife, her wife. Makes the best fucking soap. Do you have a referral code? Wait, wait. Uh, I will send you. Hold on. Say, me, why I, did you correct yourself? We to gotta get a wife. referral code for David's wife. We gotta get some kickback. Uh, let me uh, <laughs> let me send you her. Let scam me scam you, your friend's wife. <laughs> let me send you her Etsy. But for, for for real, for real though, I just want to say I bought a soap. I fucking love uh, cinnamon rolls. I bought the fla- the scent flavor. I bought the scent flavor. Why did you say that like we would accuse you of eating the soap? <laughs> you said that like you were like, oh, they're going to totally roast me yeah, for eating the candle. Flavor. That's so funny. <laughs> Give me a second. I bought the soap. We've all been there. I bought the soap with the scent cinnamon rolls. Now, I will tell you, I learned a valuable lesson. Do not jack off with, scent, with scented so that's so funny. You're telling oh me God. you're gonna say publicly that you whacked off with your friend's wife's soap. Well, if you put it like that, it sounds so <laughs> much worse. <laughs> I Dude, used I used, so the I used the candle. Yeah. I was right about to ask if we could like plug it publicly. Now I'm kind of con- con- yeah, well, concerned cut. that it's not a good fit. Well, cut, cut to cut to the plug. 
The butt plug. <laughs> yeah, okay, then do the plug. Do the plug now. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me let me pull it up. Oh, what, what are they called when you went on a commercial where they're like, oh, uh, oh, I like this product. And it's like supposed to be like a person that's not paid. What do they call those? Uh, not a paid actor. Yeah, but like they, I just uh, think from the ads world that I come from, they're like I just think of the term VSL, but I don't think that's specifically well, what you're VSL. trying to get at. No, like a video sales letter. DSL. Dick sucking but lips. I think you're referring to like the specific terminology of like the when the people say they're not actors. It. Yeah, yeah. What is it called? Yeah, but I don't think there's Isn't like a there term be a for crazy that. Delay when you guys edit this. <laughs> there's really a crazy funny. delay now, so yes, you will be on a probably. delay, but that's know, fine. The, but it's, yeah, it's actually the, really I feel funny. Like it's so nobody so no complains. Fucking annoying. I feel like it's no, it's like no, I have no, to no. perfectly I, I, time when you stop a sentence. Tristan, I, I really mean this. I missed you, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm glad I, you I always miss Tristan. I, I always miss. I, Tristan. I feel like I, I do bother you sometimes, but it's purely from a place of like I fucking miss Tristan. Um, all right, it's been a minute. Talking about you a lot, by the way, Tristan. I'm taking a look at this soap. Oh, I can't. This spell. is sick. Skulls? These are sick. Yeah. yeah I okay. Bought this. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shut up, everyone. Shut up. I'll be right back. Where's the Where fucking button? Up? Yeah, shut up. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually telling everyone to shut up because he's gonna be right back. That's fine. <laughs> and he to wants to plug this. His wife lives in yeah. California. Oh, Monterey, California. Anyway, this is this is a cinnamon this is a cinnamon rolls. Oh my god, it smells so good. This is a cinnamon roll. You jerked off skull. with a skull. What candle? Um, no, no. Anyway, I had a bat soap. Uh, that's not released on Etsy yet. That's not released on Etsy yet. Whoa, don't, don't, release don't go it. running for that. But uh, anyway, yeah, cinnamon <laughs> burns. She has the a balls. lot of scents. Cinnamon burns the balls. I will tell you that she has a scent cadaver. What does a cadaver smell like? Oh, there's actually, this is really cool. A spell there's candle. a chemical called cadaverine that is literally responsible for the smell of rotting. I don't know if that's what she uses in her soap. I hope not, because that, that smells really bad. I smelled that before. Is it like this, that, that this smells like my vagina candle? Maybe. Banana nut bread. <laughs> wow. I could get a bleeding Gwyneth skull Paltrow. that smells like banana nut bread. Baja cactus blossom. I'm just going to run through a few of these names. Hey, y'all, if any of these scents sound tasty to you, as Sean would put it, because he eats them, then please purchase one of these from this shop. Fruit Loop, Sugared Citrus, Lemon Pound Cake, La Luna, Vanilla, Dragon's Blood, Midnight Summer Night, Midsummer Night, Strawberry Macaron, Birthday Cake, Moon Water, <laughs> Berry Bellini, Oatmeal and Honey, Banana Bread Pudding, Fireside. Where are you finding uh, these at? I can't find. And you the have name. to click on a product, and then it says choose your scent. Anyway, her soaps are fucking amazing, dude. Oh. I'll, I'll be I'll be a hundred percent honest. Okay, she puts so crystals the, in them. Yeah, no, the candles sick. are cool. Those are, the candles are very cool. I will tell you, no, this is this is f- completely unfiltered. Well, it's not filtered. You know what I mean? I use the cinnamon roll soap, and I shower. So I have to go to class. I have to leave my apartment by seven thirty a.m. So I shower at 6.30 so that I'm ready to leave by 7.30 a.m. At 1, at 1 p.m., so a full, like, seven hours later, I can still smell like cinnamon. Like, my arm and hand still mm-hmm. smell like cinnamon. It's fucking, I don't know how she does it. I really, because, mm-hmm. like, I have Dove soap. Uh, let's honestly open my eyes to, like, what other soaps are like. Because I, I, I usually just buy the cheapest Dial or Dove soap at Stop and Shop. And then you, you always, I, I mean, I sweat a lot, uh, sweat a lot. So I smell like shit, but like, um, my hands, like I'll be leaning during class and just do this, like to think, and I can smell cinnamon rolls. It's fucking amazing. Anyway. Yeah. Wait, can David, we talk we about your wife. what this massage therapy class is like? Like, is there just yeah, like a yeah, guy want- on a table and then they have like, and they're just like, <laughs> no, no, oh, gonna, he's being tricked and bamboozled. Hit, we're, we're gonna, yeah, yeah. No, do you, do you actually want to know? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he asked us a bit. The yeah, no, uh, so it's a... fucking terrible. The delay is terrible. <laughs> it's so good. It's actually so funny, though, the dude. The delay is fucking so, terrible. Um, so, um, I am in a cohort of ten other people, or nine other people. So we have You're a, in a cohort. That's what we. That's what you call. That's what we call ourselves. The cohort. Anyway, All there's right. there, there's ten of us taking this class, and it's a thirteen month program. 
And so we just take turns massaging. Oh, so, okay. So, so let me back up. <laughs> yeah. Let yeah. Me- I think you need to back up a little. I think you were about to walk into something there. Let me back up here. Is this um, like the dead we- massage therapist society? <laughs> yeah. Fri- well, five nights at Freddy. What's the min- weekend at Freddy's? Weekend at Bernie's? <laughs> Frylock. Weekend at Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's. Another, another <laughs> That's great, what it's called, right? It's all a great show. It's all a great show. Um, <laughs> We have a bit. We have business classes every week, and we have uh, either anatomy and physiology or massage techniques. So on classes that we have massage techniques, we all like we get paired up within our own cohort and massage each other like back and forth for like two hours. How's that been? Um, it's very funny because there are three men, one gay, two straight, and then the rest are women. So there's seven women, three guys, <laughs> one gay guy, two straight guys. So me and John, Sean and are John, the are all, no, there's a guy, Forrest, who's gay. And he gets paired with oh, okay. all the women. And John and I just keep getting paired together. We're like, this is supposed, this is supposed to be random. Like, I'm not going to be like, when am I going to touch women? But like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, I, I'm watching The Sopranos right now, and Steve Buscemi just came in the show, ooh. and he is training to be a massage therapist. So there's a lot of like massage therapy stuff in the show right yeah, yeah. now, um, which I find very interesting. I think that's season four, right? Season five. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Anyway, oh. Steve Buscemi's good. I did not expect to see him in Sopranos. Yeah, I feel like those time. I feel like the Sopranos feels so much earlier than Steve Buscemi, but Steve Wait, Buscemi's is it, is old. It, is Steve Buscemi the the buttered sausage guy? No, he's the what? Green Goblin. No, uh, quit uh, spreading misinformation. Who's Steve the, Buscemi who, was the Green Goblin. No, that's Willem Dafoe. Oh, right, 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 right. Who the right. fuck? Who's the buttered sausage guy? He looks. What fucked. the fuck he's is buttered drug. sausage? Look it up. You'll know. You'll see him when you know him. <laughs> No, that's Gary Busey. Fuck you. Gary Busey. Let's talk about buttered sausage. Talk about buttered sausage, where it comes from, what it does. Why is it doing what it's doing? Get it out of my face. Um, Y'all put disrespect on the Bushman. You know, Wendy, Wendy Williams has aphasia and dementia. It's so hilarious what David just said. I did say that kind of. David says that he, his wife Where's catches David him snacking on it all the time, which is very funny because we were talking about how Sean tastes the soap. And then, yeah. Why isn't David in the pod? He should join. I don't That's fucking what I know. Said. I said, bring your mom. What the fuck? I didn't say that. Everyone else said that, I think. Literally everyone. <sighs> should we make buttered sausage for the show? I have a recipe right here. <clears throat> yes. It says ingredients, one pork sausages, one garlic, one onion, one sage dried, one chicken stock. You have all that at your house? And Dijon mustard, nutmeg, plain flour, salt and pepper, and cayenne pepper. Y'all quit talking in the chat and making my... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is Tristan pissing right now? He's drinking beer, that's what he's doing. He's pouring himself beer Um, off camera. I had a lot of fucking ice cream and beer, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I did (laughs) piss. I was pissing. Sorry. He did. You hear that? How did you hear that? We heard the piss clearly. <laughs> anyway, I might, I might have to. I go think to it's the, the AirPods. Oh, you're picking up. Okay, you're taking it from the AirPods. Get it? Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. I just heard you piss. That's that was awesome. Nice stream, dude. Isn't it crazy how like the sun's sick and healthy. down for you guys, but the sun is still up? Yeah, for you know, me. I, I, like, I, I'm not gonna flat, lie to you. you know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I have. I literally was like, uh, what? What was I thinking about in Florida? Oh, I, we were looking at the stars, bro. There are no streetlights in Gulfport, which is where I went to visit some people, and no streetlights whatsoever. And I'm looking up, and I'm like, I can see all the fucking stars, and I. It was just so beautiful, yeah. and I downloaded an app. To tell me like, oh, if you're facing north, you're looking at, you know, whichever Antares something or other. And I, I just like kind of, I was like, the fucking world is so beautiful, dude. You know what I mean? Dude, there are. Oh, there Haley, are Haley, Haley, I, Haley, I, Haley I, hey, hold, shut up. Shut up. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say shut up. That was rude. Haley tried mushrooms, dude. It's in Florida. It was a, it was crazy. Yeah, no, no, I did. But I was talking to Ben, not you. I, I would never tell you to shut up. Wait, Haley mushroom did fucking trip. Mushroom. Tell me, what, how was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haley loved it. I w- I didn't do any. I wanted to be sober for Haley. 
Uh, Haley stole a few things, which was very funny. Uh, we went to your <laughs> wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we went. Turn we went her to in. This, um, She's a felon. No, no. I, like, I also like how you, you, you decided to just start calling her your wife, but not expect anyone to My question wife. you. You're like, this will just pass over. No one will ask about that. Can we so see this? Being fucking like, coy about it is what was happening. I want to see what your wife looks like. Uh, yeah, I, she I has have, pictures of your wife on Reddit. I have literally zero pictures of Haley. <laughs> <laughs> Bring her in. In Come on, I'm sure she's there. I mean, not even in the yearbook. She wasn't even in the yearbook. Um, she hates yeah. pictures. When Ben remembers this, when we went to a Thai restaurant at his old town, his hometown, um, she like ducked under the table. She really does not like pictures. Uh, unironically, she does not like pictures. Wow. But anyway, so what is up with having girlfriends that don't like being visible? <laughs> like, I don't know. What, what is that she just, story about? She just about? goes to a different school, you guys. She just goes to a different school. <laughs> she's real. I swear so. to God, she's real. <laughs> um, um, but so we went to this restaurant, or it wasn't a restaurant. It was like a. I guess you'd call it a bodega. Uh, do you call that? It's a. It was just basically. You're not from New York. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was nice a Mexican. I also get upset at the New Yorkers yeah. for calling it a bodega. Because fuck you. We all have corner stores. Right. Well, but, okay. Here's the thing. It was a building, and you're walking on the sidewalk, and you just order at the window. Like it's the window is on the. Side. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, yeah. it's, I don't know if that's, that's a what a bodega is a, either. It's a storefront, but you don't go in. You just go up to the door and you're like, yeah, I would like this, this and that. And they're like, OK, you could just stand outside and we'll bring it to you. So anyway, they were like, here's your number. And they hand me number seven. And they're like, we'll call your number when your food is ready. So I'm standing with Haley and she's like, when does this ring? And she's high on mushrooms. She's like, when does this ring? And I'm like, when does what ring? And she's holding <laughs> the bell, like the doorbell. And I'm like, where did you get that? And it's, it's she, it literally literally is marked doorbell <laughs> ring ring for service. It literally says doorbell ring for service. And she's like, they gave it to me. I'm like, they did not give that to you. They gave me the number. And she's standing there like, this is gonna ring when our food is ready. Like all restaurants, they give you the vibrator thing. And I'm like, Haley, no, <laughs> no. So I took it. I took that from her, and I walk right back up to the door. I'm like, I'm really sorry. My wife stole this. And they're like, holy fuck, we were looking that. For looking for that like we thought we misplaced that and I'm like no my wife stole this I'm really sorry and they're like no it's okay it's all good <laughs> and Haley Haley was just like I don't know how that handed up in my hand when, when did that get in my hand I didn't I didn't take that I'm like you took it it's fine you need to relax and she's like I don't know how that handed it was, that was in my hand I don't know how that was in my hand I was like it's it's gonna be okay you ever have a friend that was tripping on acid <laughs> no no yes but it was very, yeah, it was very fun to watch Haley on mushrooms she loved, there was a, a street performer singing, um, you know that song that, and I saw her face, yeah. now I'm a believer. So, hey, yeah, all -star. Fucking, <laughs> yeah, we all watched uh, Shrek. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah, the fucking, wait, who's that band? Smash Mouth, that's what I meant to say. Smash Mouth, yeah. Oh, who's that? Is that Haley? Who is this? That's Haley? That's me and my, sh I was sitting in my shirt off. <laughs> nice. That's me what? after I go to Mike Pastries in the north end of Boston. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Tristan, wait, hold on. That was me wait, my shirt Trist off posing. <laughs> yeah. Tristan is, wait, Tristan, Tristan's on a fitness journey right now? What's going on here? <laughs> no, I just... Fitting this pizza yeah, I in my mouth. Guess how many steps I take a day because of I'm cleaning pools. How many steps do you think I'm taking a day? Ten. Okay, you don't have to over exaggerate. 10K, Sean got it right. 10K, 10K, Sean oh, got it. 10K. Oh, yeah, yeah. 10K, 10K, 10K. 10K. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 10K. Uh, it's a lot. I'm going to show you guys my health app on the iPhone, and uh, it'll. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's just all caddy wampus. a lot of stuff. Damn. A lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, I, I well, speaking I of weird words, you. I forgot to bring up butt maxing earlier. What you were talking yeah. about, or butt mogging? <laughs> That's like it. You that brought word. up looks maxing. I meant to bring up butt mogging. Fucking butt mog. What is that? Sounds like a Harry Potter um, spell. I just butt mogged on these Zoomers today. Haley was look um, it up. Haley was um. We were well. We were walking in Florida, and we saw this beautiful bird. And Haley was like, "Is that a?" F That's what I said. That's how I met my wife. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, she was is that, like, "Is I that know. a? Is that a fucking flamingo?" <laughs> now. I knew that it wasn't a flamingo. But I have Still no me idea. trying to meet my wife. I, I had no idea what type of bird that was. I just didn't I just knew it wasn't a flamingo. So we get home and It was a heron. 
No, it was a roseated spoonbill. That was the name of the thing. That was the name of the Fuck, thing. dude. You don't know your flamingos from your roseated <laughs> sperm bills or whatever? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, can I ask you? I'm going to pose you a real situation that happened to me. And I want to know. I'm going to answer a real situation that happened to you. And I want to know if you guys think that if I was the pussy or if the per- yes. the other person involved was the crazy one. Now, I'm pretty sure that I was being a pussy. All right, give it to me. Okay. So I'm on a walk with one of Haley's aunts, right? Already be a pu- already pussy move. I'm on a, I'm on a walk with one of Haley's aunts. <laughs> Who goes on walks, dude? Come on. <laughs> and yeah, just right. so I've walk. walked ten thousand steps. Yeah, and she's, she's she's like, oh, there's this really nice cemetery. I like cemeteries. <laughs> Haley's aunts like cemeteries. So, now this is this is not a pussy move, yeah. by the way. It's, it's being like, okay, I'll walk with my aunt. This is pretty in awful. the cemetery. Yeah, yeah. So. So we're talking and she's like, there's a great cemetery. You're going to love it. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to love it. And she's like, it's gnarly, looks crazy. And it's like, it's got tombstones and everything. Gnarly. You're going to love it. And what I was are like, you, 15 years old? Yeah. So we turn the corner and it's 15 prisoners, orange jumpsuits. Swear to God, orange jumpsuits, two cops, 15 prisoners, two cops. The, all the prisoners have weed whackers and chainsaws. Just going around, going like <laughs> cutting, cutting down branches. Uh, weed, Be sure you didn't take mushrooms. Weed whacking, and I turn to her aunt, and I'm like, "We can't go into this cemetery." And she's like, "Why not?" And I was like, "Because there's prisoners here and guards." And, and she's like, "They'll turn us around." And I'm like, "I don't. I really don't want to go into the cemetery." And she's like, "It's gonna I be." I like fine. that way of thinking, though. I like that way of thinking. So we go into the cemetery and I'm shitting myself because there are just prisoners, orange jumpsuits. I swear to God, chainsaws. <laughs> like, we should have said something. Weed whack. And then the, the guard starts walking up to us and I'm like, oh, thank God. He's going to tell us to leave. We're fine. And he just starts talking to us about the day. He's like, lovely day, huh? And she's like, yeah, it was a great day. We're just walking and there's just, I'm sur- we're surrounded by prisoners. And we get at the end, we get to the end of the cemetery and she's like, see, that wasn't so bad. And I'm like, I got to be honest with you. I don't want to go back through the cemetery to get back. <laughs> and then so we get Those people were slaves, Sean. When we get back to the apartment, the whole time she's like, oh, Sean was so scared of these prisoners. And I was like, you know what? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> 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 uh, like, you're kind ah! of a pussy. I'm also a pussy. I'm a big pussy. You were kind I, of a pussy. I, I will be honest. I and did racist. not want to be. I will I, say that. No, hmm. it was it was mostly white people, to be honest with you. But I did not okay, want to be in that cemetery. I was like, I tell you, I re- yeah, he I lives in Massachusetts. I did not want to be in that cemetery. But she was telling me that it's unlikely that it's dangerous. And I was like, what does that mean? But I, do, I, I do have to say that white people in prison somehow are scarier than any other race. Well, she was she was like, well, listen, if it was, if it was dangerous, the cops would have turned us around. And I said, they have chainsaws. You know what I mean? It just it, t- it takes one. It t- you know what I mean? Like yeah. there's fifteen no, of them. Sure, you should have walked walking like, by. There's fifteen of them. It, it was you two would have only been 15 lucky prison. if they killed you. Anyway, so that was an experience that I had, and to this day, like Haley's just like, oh yeah, like her aunt was right, and you're like you're a pussy, and I was like, fuck you, bitch. Like fuck. <laughs> you should have walked by, like pussy ass, and then just ran away. Well, one of them, one um, of them was like, how's it going? And I was like, oh, good. And but I didn't want to be like, how's it going? <laughs> I like, know, I know that this is an <laughs> ominous thing to just bring up and then say I don't want to talk about it right now. Yeah, sure. But I hope you stick around after this if you can, Sean, because I have something that happened to me recently. That involves slave labor <clears throat> that I can't talk about on the podcast, okay. but I think is an interesting story, which now that I just say that and say I can't talk about it sounds like I'm enslaving people, which I promise you is not true, but it involves slaves. Yeah, that's OK. I mean, and me, it was just super. I, I don't know how to bring this up without saying without ask me about it later. Yeah. Anyway, do you, you, you guys you guys agree? Would you have gone into the cemetery or would you have turned around? I I went Dude, in, if, to be fair, okay. I went in. But, so I'm going to be honest was, with you. If they're not going to be bringing fucking murderers out. Yeah, okay. I mean, maybe I'm a pussy. Maybe I'm a pussy. That's fine. That's fine. I, I, I'm a pussy, not in that way. I think I'm it a depends pussy too. on like the prisoner to square footage <clears throat> ratio. It, it was a lot of prisoners for a small area, brother. Like, Says it was, the pussy. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind I of... 
that's kind of the thing. I don't remember what the cemetery was called. I'd love to Google it for you, but it felt small. <laughs> they were they had chainsaws. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm not trying to be super- Arizona. They, they might still have it. I'm not sure, but definitely under Joe Arpaio, we had like the chain gangs out here, and that you would see them some not all the time, but every now and then you'd see like, a little never chain seen, gang that was walk. So I don't know if that was normal for her Haley's aunt. I had never <laughs> seen prisoners. Well, no, that's not true. I never you, seen them you in, out. You in the back. You know what I mean? So it was just, it was such a fucking foreign thing to me. And they all were just walking around with chainsaws. And I was like, that's allowed? But I don't know. You, maybe maybe they were just were the... nonviolent offenders or whatever. I don't know. I'm... No, they're definitely nonviolent. They wouldn't be bringing violent people with chainsaws into a, just a random open area. I promise you. Yeah, I, I, maybe Facts. I'm just a bitch. Maybe, I, maybe I'm just a bitch. I, I went to Michael's. Sorry, this is unrelated. This is me being a pussy. Wait, you went to, went to Minnesota? Michael's. Yeah, I went to Michael's and look what I got, dude. I got okay. a Minecraft poster. That's Terraria, right? I also thought it was Terraria before Minecraft. It's just 2D Minecraft. Yeah, Terraria. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you <laughs> just... my last nerve. I haven't put it up yet. I got it like a week and a half oh, ago. Oh, actually, I did get... Where's the OJ flag? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I did get, I'm not going to open this, but I actually, hold on. Does this say what it is? Okay, it has my address, so never mind. But I, I got a, um, I, I got a. You got this. STD. You're, it. you're getting, now you're getting aphasia. <laughs> I have aphasia for a sure. bad cramp. <laughs> I have early onset oh dementia my God, for sure. What the fuck is his name? So does Wendy Williams. I got a, you know the time clock thing? You know, with the melting clock? The Salvador Dali Salvador painting? Salvador Dali. I got a painting. Uh, oh, uh, now obviously, it's not the painting, but I got I got a painting. It's pretty fucking massive. I don't know. If I'm just... Um, and I am waiting for a space to put it up. You're not going to yeah, show it to you, us? You, you just a, got you a, a wall painting. That big? <laughs> I, I don't have a wall that big. It's going to have to wait like two or three years before <laughs> when we buy a house. Was um, it gifted to then, you or did you buy it? I bought it. It was, uh, hold on, let me see. I've never, oh, I haven't opened this. You know what'll open you up? Our, our, the, Your this therapist. Week's oh. Oh, yeah. We should uh, it's just those little rose toys that they plug under Instagram, uh, their Twitter threads. Like the sex toys? Yeah, 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 the rose yeah. vibrator. It's, uh, you see this? Salvador Dollar. Yeah, bro, you don't, you don't got a wow. wall that big. What does it have to do with the clock? I didn't know you Maybe. was religious like that. I really like religious style paintings. No, bro, bro is Roman Catholic. He told me so many times. That's true. I was raised Roman. I was technically raised Irish slash Roman Catholic. He was, Roman I was, was raised like, Roman reigns. He was like praying to Mecca and all that shit, dude. He was doing the whole nine. The whole nine yards. <laughs> the, the Green Mile. What's that called? Inshallah, brother. Dog. No, um, I don't think so. Ben, at the beginning of this episode, you were going to say, could you believe that Zach, what Zach did <laughs> in Cleveland? And then we never went back to it. Do you have any idea what you were talking about? When did I say that? No. no I'm sure you when you're watching story this. story before Sean got ice cream. Oh, true. I did distract you from ice cream, but I also want to go get some more ice cream. That's all right with you. Yeah, so when you're editing this episode, you'll figure out what story you were trying to tell, and you'll oh, know what I'm talking so about. I want to turn. When did I say it? It was like in Pat. You were like, it was, yeah, it was right before Sean got ice cream. It was like you were going to be like, you were saying something to the effect of like, um, something about when I was there in Cleveland because it was right after you had talked about how it was the best time you've had since you moved to Cleveland and you were going to say something about what we did to them and have them guess about it but I don't remember what I'm not you so I don't know um shit I was about to, you know oh, to talk oh, about oh, yeah, it it's so, fine so I'm technically a host at my main at the main restaurant that I, at, at, at which I work at which I'm employed you're working uh, two I'm restaurants host, which, yeah, I work at two restaurants. I'm attempting to work at only one, which I'm trying to be a server at one of the 99s in my area. Um, yeah, well, if, you, if you're trying to be a server, you need more dedicated wham. Nice. You're so retarded, dude. <laughs> anyway. At the restaurant at which I host. Why is that so funny? 
I was retarded. <laughs> At the restaurant oh, in which I host, this sorry. German guy comes in. So, Do you host a restaurant or something? You're getting anyway, a mad, so dude. A bunch, a bunch of businesses come in for lunch, right? That's the that's like the draw of of a of a, of a, a restaurant with a bar. And uh, this German guy comes in. This guy with a thick German accent. Is like, uh, if we sit at the bar, I can't even do a German accent because I'm too drunk. If we sit at the bar. Can you, can you put Bundeschläger on? And I was like, uh, Bro, bro, what's, what's in the Bundeschläger? <laughs> and I was like, I'm really sorry. I have no idea what Bundeschläger <laughs> is. And he goes, eh. put a- He's like, it's football. And I was like, I'm thinking in my head, Bundeschläger he means said, football. He said, it's football? Yeah, yeah, it's football. And I was like, yeah, that means that he says, he says, I football. And I was like, in German, and his friend, his friend goes, it's on ESPN plus. Do you guys have ESPN plus? And I was like, oh, let me go. Oh, the Bundesliga. And so I was like, uh, I know what he's talking about. So yeah. I, I go stop, into the no, back. Stop acting like, you know, <laughs> I know it's, it, it, it's the Bundesliga. It's the German soccer league. Oh, he does. Okay, so I go into the back of the restaurant. I speak German. It's not. I know what he's talking about. So I, he wants you to put on the soccer game. Yeah. So so I go in the back. I'm like, do we have ESPN Plus? And they were like, no, we don't have. We have regular ESPN. And so I go back to this German guy. I'm like, I'm really sorry. We don't have Bundesliga. And he's like, you don't have Bundesliga? And I was like, no, I we don't have Bundesliga. And he's like, oh, we'll sit at the bar anyway. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And they're on their phone. And I'm, I'm like, wait, that's fucking soccer. He's streaming soccer. And I so I go back to the manager. I'm like, what channel is soccer? And she's like, oh, that's CBS. And I was like, okay. So I hit the CBS button and it's Women's Soccer League. And he goes, Oh, it's not Bundesliga, but it's it's good enough. It's good enough. And he was like congratulating me on finding football on TV. I'm like, Bundesliga. say soccer, say slock, soccer, you dumb fuck. You know what I mean? This is <laughs> or football, because then like America. at least you know, like you're okay, you're not from Germany. here. Yeah. yeah, but so that was just a very funny experience. He's like, you have Bundesliga, and I was like, I don't know. It, he um, didn't say Schlager, by the way. I know what uh, he was sure, trying to sure. say. He didn't well, say Bundesliga. I'm sure, sure I'm saying it wrong, but I'm. But I'm just saying, like, he came up to me, he's like, Bundesliga or whatever. And I was like, good luck, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You won't survive the winter. Yeah. But so, yeah. So it was just very, very funny to me that I was like, I have no idea what this guy, just German dudes asking for Bundesliga or whatever the fuck. But he found it. Did he ever, but he got his it, Bundesliga. Well, well, he was watching. He was watching. He started watching the Women's Soccer League. But I guess his friend was streaming whatever he cared about on his phone. So they just sat at the bar. Yeah, That's illegal. Reminds me of when I went to Germany and they thought I was asking for chocolate in my room. What's that? I don't remember that story. Um, I I went. So I'll give a brief recap of the story. So like I speak German. I'm not like very, very fluent in it, but I speak enough to get by. Right. Mm -hmm. So I go to Germany thinking I spoke much more fluent German than I really spoke. Um, and I get there and I'm immediately like, Oh, these, I thought I speak German. These guys speak German. You know what I mean? Like, like they're so far, like I, I immediately not understanding people. I got better throughout the trip, but still, um, get to the hotel room, the very first hotel room in Berlin. And, um, the, the, the lights won't turn on, the lights won't turn on, the TV won't turn on. I try plugging my phone and it won't turn on. And they had sent these like housekeeping maids up. That makes sense. Your last name's Werner, and you look like that. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like I'm like fifty percent German. His Sorry to cut you Werner. off. Just wanted to. His name is yeah. Werner. And he's a Bundesliga. Tristan Werner. He kind of looks like Hitler now that he's laying <laughs> back there. <laughs> oh, he does kind of look like Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah. Anyways, so I go these these like <laughs> these cleaning lay the word for those that can't see Discord, the word Hitler just popped up on my screen. But um <laughs> as I'm talking about being in Germany. Um but yeah, so these like these like housekeepers came up and are like rearranging our room because they only had one bed in there and I wasn't about to like cuddle with my buddy. Um, although in retrospect, would, right? maybe that would have been fun. Yeah, okay. yeah sure. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to talk to them in German about like the power not working in my room. Mm-hmm. Right. And I, you know, I keep saying like, you know, in Schuligung, Abba, my bed in Zimmer had nine. And I kept like, not 
knowing the word for power or like electric outlet, which surprisingly Ben corrected me on by saying machen, which I thought was bullshit because I thought he was saying like the word to make, uh, which is a different like variation of that. But like I thought he was wrong, but he was actually right. Mach does mean power. Ben successfully oh, like knows more, a little more German than me. I, sh- maybe I don't know. Okay. Anyways, but I, I don't know the word for power, <laughs> and so I'm I'm saying the sentence in German, and then I go electrical outlet, like power outlet, and then I'm like casually incorporating more English, the less they're understanding, and I'm like, lady, there's no. I was like, electrical outlet doesn't Light work. Bulb. Electrical outlet doesn't work, and um, this whole time they kept saying chocolat, chocolat, which is the German word for chocolate. Hey. So they thought that this American dude flew all the way out to Germany and was just like complaining There's to these no housekeepers. <laughs> yeah, like from their perspective, I'm like, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but my bedroom doesn't have chocolate. And they're like, what? Chocolate? And I'm like, chocolate. And I'm like pointing at the table and I'm like, chocolate, chocolate, no chocolate. <laughs> like, <laughs> to the, from their perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fat fucking American. So well, I gotta say, just like sort of tangential to that, having worked... I work at a restaurant where the entire kitchen staff is either Guatemalan or Mexican. So I'm Sweet. I'm learning Spanish, like not like crazy, but like I'm learning a good amount of Spanish. Season so your like, season. And your. some of the some of them some of them speak z- like less English than I speak Spanish, which is like fucking amazing. One of them will hold up a fork and they're like, Como se dice? Como se dice? And I'm like, silverware, silverware. Just say <laughs> silverware. And, <laughs> and they're like, oh, so so, yeah, they were like, "Como se dice?" Uh, um, and and uh, so I would go up to them, and I, they're like, eh, "Sean, eh, um, small eh, to go." And I'm like, "Oh, box, box." Como se dice box? And they're like, "Caja." And I'm like, "Caja pequeña." And they're like, "Yeah, si, si, caja pequeña." And it's just like this. I love, I love this back and forth that I have with uh, these. Yeah, are you learning Spanish? Do you think? I I genuinely am. Learning. So what's super funny is. A couple of the Guatemalans were like, I was like, Como se dice? A couple of Guatemalans work at a bar. I was like, uh, Como se dice to go? Because we do a lot of to go, take out stuff. And they were like, Para, P A R A, Para, E of R, I L L E V A R. And I'm like, Para, E of R. Uh, so I would be like, um, eh, uh, Papa's Fritas, uh, French fries, Papa's Fritas, Para, E of R. And I remember I went up to a Dominican. And I was like, uh, para Iavar. And he was like, what? And I was like, para Iavar. Because the fuck are you saying? And I was like, to go. And he goes, oh, shit, dude, your, your accent's terrible. And I was like, oh, you speak English? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you speak... <laughs> and he goes, yeah, I fucking speak English. And I was like, oh, okay, all right, all right, my bad. You know what's crazy? Oh, uh-huh. go ahead. No, let I'm me like, tell my fucking story first, Zach. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this dynamic where I tell a story and then you go, uh, oh, two Guatemalans walk into a bar or whatever you say. Would you I'm be happy with me if I got fully naked right now and did the rest of the podcast on Dude, my tiny we, cock out? We could Can I tell you my use, bad news real quick? Yeah, my bad news? Oh, sure. I have bad yeah, news. Yeah. My, yeah, fuck my AirPods are about to die, so this probably will oh, be uh, no. the last that you uh, see of the stand. Uh, so I'll Tristan, Tristan, I love you, Tristan, you so I, much. I, I just thank you for coming to say, on. Tristan, I love you. I, I really yeah. hope you. I really hope you. I love you guys very AirPods. much as well. Thank you guys for having I, me. I'm excited for the yeah, new I'd content. To, you guys are all fucking. I'd sick, love to reach out to you a little more. I've been really slacking on uh, a lot of things, so I want to reach out to you and just talk to you. Don't even worry about it, man. I've been like so heavily indebted into work, and uh, but I definitely want to rekindle our sexual and friendship relationship. So. Hey, I love you, Tristan. I really do. Bye, Tris. There goes my hero. I do love Tris. Really the more the longer it went on, the more pixelated he got, yeah. and the more it's to me he just funny. looked like a decaying Hitler uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, like not even a statement on his I do, appearance. I do, I do just more like the more pixelated yeah. it got, and the further in his chair back. Do you think he, do you think he closed the tab? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> uh, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> but I do. Love, uh, I love. Tristan. I should reach out to Tristan more. Yeah, I feel the same way. Um, but the story I was going to tell is about you brought up accents. So when my mom f- first bought that, so my parents first bought the house in North Carolina. They were they were outside getting out of the car. I think after going grocery shopping. Nice candle, dude. Where'd you buy that from? 
I bought that from Moon Magic uh, on Etsy. Use code Rieger okay. for fifteen percent off. There you go. Um, so uh, Moon and Magic think? Co Shop. Oh, so my 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 parents were getting out of the car after gr- going grocery shopping, and a man walks up, and he goes, "Yanaba." And my 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 dad is like, "What?" Obviously, like, what the fuck? He goes, "Yanaba." And my 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 dad's like looks at my mom and is like, "What is this guy saying?" And he's like, and "My dad's like, oh sorry, I don't understand you." And he goes, "The accent evaporates." He goes, "Are you all are are, are you the new buyers?" Is what he was saying for the for the house. Y'all the, buyers? Like, Y'all the buyers? Oh yeah, and they have never had that accent since. Yeah, it's, it's so fucking it's been, funny. It's been it's been it's been gone. He my dad removed it from that guy. Also, Dude. my dad has Discord now. Which is yeah, pretty funny. That's very funny. Oh, that's epic. Can I add him? Oh my you can. fucking he use it. god. Anyway, so I love working with Guatemalans, dude. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> living in Arizona, I, actually, I would be willing to bet more than half of the friends that I have here speak Spanish. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a horrific like, American accent, but I'm learning a lot of Spanish and I'm liking it. But like, I've made zero effort to learn. <laughs> it's yeah. like, I, I know like all certain friend groups that I hang out with and coworkers, they'll just start speaking Spanish amongst each other. And I have to just go like, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't care. Cool. Corrado cut up. Huh? I just think of junior Corrado from yeah, the cut Sopranos. Him, like, cut him up like a mobster. <laughs> yeah, but he's not Spanish. Corrado cocaina. Mm. Why are you guys speaking other languages? We're in America. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> one, not enough. I'm, I, I'm like surprised at how much I'm enjoying and be like, Como se dice? Como se dice? Bro. Yeah, because it, it's like inherent to white people to like, you know, pretend no, like they're like, like, like really integrated in like, like a Guatemala, different culture. The Guatemalans also, because we share Como se dice. So we just say Como se dice to each other and hold random shit up. You know what I mean? So, like, um, so. One of them was like, I need a, and they held up a box. They're like, como se Max di- Ween. They were like, como se dice? And I was like, oh, como se dice this? And they were like, oh, um, caja is box. And then pequeña would be small or grande is big for takeaway. Sean. And uh, no, but so they were like, como se dice in, in English? And I was like, oh, box, small box, big box. And they were like, oh, big box, big box. And I was just like, that was neat. You know what I mean? It's a neat little interaction. Oh, big box. Big Sean, box. Do you, do you think that um, these people have like a Boston accent, like a Massachusetts about, accent in Spanish, so like, and that you're learning like an accented version yes, of Spanish? So, so and if you went down here and this. talked to them, they'd be like, yes. what the fuck? So I actually asked about this because, so I speak to most of the people that I interact with are Guatemalans but there are some Mexicans in our cook line. And I was like, so I went up to one of them and I was like, so this is the word that I learned for this. Is it different? So for instance, one of them was like, um, refresca, refresca. And I was like, I know that that's fucking soda. Soda. That's fucking soda. What type of soda do you want? So brave. And I was like, what type of soda do you want? And they're like Fanta. And I was like, excellent. I fucking speak Spanish. So I go up to that. Uh, so that was that was a Mexican. A Mexican was like refresca, and I was like, "That's a fucking soda." I go up to a Guatemalan, and I was like, "Como se dice?" And he goes, uh, "We just say agua." And I was like, "You say water?" And he goes, "Well, I mean," he said, "Context." And I was like, "Okay, context. Fuck it." So Guatemalans <laughs> say agua. <laughs> like, There's stuff that we do like that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like pop versus soda versus. Like seltzer, like you know, seltzer. Not, I mean, we just use words. I mean, like you know, like we use words interchange. Like words change their meaning yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah. Like one word can mean three different things. Zach, yeah. you're familiar with? We've had this conversation before, maybe on the podcast. The uh, Connecticut, the grinder. You're familiar with grinder, right? I know what a grinder is. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I know what grinder is. I know both. Yeah, I'm sure you're on it. No, not right now. I guess. Yeah, not right now. Yeah, I. If you were on it, I would be on it too. Frankly. You want to start a, a, an account purely to promote the podcast? Yeah, we did that for Hitler <laughs> in high school. We did that for, we promoted Hitler as well. Yeah. Oh, I just talked to him. Yep, you did. Yes, you did. 
I wish we could. I wish I. Could, I mean, I'm sure there's a way I could do it in post, but I wish I could like show how shit quality he was that whole time. Uh, there's a screenshot in chat right now. If you go look, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna show that for sure. But but I wanted to talk a little bit about um this last month. I haven't done too How's much. Alexis My mother doing? was here. Alexis is doing great. Really? Um, uh, she makes the most the best food. Period. Because she's, she's still Italian creaming. Puerto Rican. She's still creaming. I wish. <laughs> I don't know what I, you mean by that, to be honest with you. But I just, oh, I, I said dreaming. I think you Freudian slipped heard that. So, uh, wait, did you say dreaming or did I? Yeah, did I, you did not say dreaming. You said creaming, bro. Yeah, don't I did. Play back. She's still dreaming. Um, she's still making really good food. My mom was here and she tried the good food and said it was good food. So she that's said, confirmation Ew, wow. for you. <laughs> you uh, uh no, what's funny about my mom is that she's a very like suburban white mom yeah um she is terrified of cleveland like she'll hear like sirens and be I like thought you were gonna say cleavage no <laughs> she, no, ah, ah, put that put she, that away <laughs> no she'll hear like sirens like even just like fire her size of sirens yeah, and she'll yeah. be like because she's used to like not that yeah, she's used to like living in the essential boon- boonies of a rich yeah. neighborhood all, all my mom does is tell me not to spend money and then and then buy me random items on a flash sale. But that's all my mom does. That's like the most suburban white mom in the world. Thing, mm-hmm. the most suburban white mom thing to do in the world. Oh, Kelly. Oh, uh, she, Rianda. She, 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 the other, a few weeks Janice. ago, I don't, know if I, I don't know if I said this on the podcast or not. She, um, she called me one morning after a big storm in, in North Carolina. And she, she called me at like 9 a.m. on a weekend. Mm-hmm. And I was like, bro, I'm going to... She's like, I ordered you something and it should be in today. I said, what are you ordering me, Ma? And she said, she was like, I ordered you uh, Mylar, uh, uh, um, Nylar? Is it Mylar or Nylar? I've never heard the word Mylar or Nylar, whatever it is. I've never heard it more in my life and until the past two fucking months with you. I've never heard it once until you started talking about this shit. Wait, wait, hold on. Do you know what the Mylar kid is? Do you know about the Mylar kid? No, I've never heard this word before That's a, ever. It's an interesting I bitch started talking it's about it. It's a crazy story where two parents were like, oh, our kid got abducted by aliens and then put him in a Mylar balloon. And then yeah. they're like, oh, we found our kid. <laughs> yeah. Balloon boy. Balloon boy. Are you talking what, about balloon boy? I think it's the same thing, yeah. Yeah, everyone knows it as balloon boy. No one ever once said Mylar kid. Whoa. <laughs> Did you look up Balloon Boy? No, I didn't look up anything. I just thought it was my life, kid. I, I didn't know. I've, I mean, literally have never heard that. I'm oh, pretty confident I know this story as oh, Balloon Boy. Oh, he's, dude, dude, Zach, he's irritable. Why, why do you look up dude. dude? Leave it, dude. Leave it, dude. He's irritable. I'm going to watch YouTube. I'm going to watch YouTube now. I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to relapse. <laughs> um, Biden 81 tells White House aides the secret to a successful marriage is a good sex. Hey, Sean, how's your marriage going? You know what? Is it successful? I'm not going to lie to you, and you can cut this out if if you think it's a good idea to cut this out. I think that you and Zach, I am very comfortable with whatever jokes you guys make, but... What else did I see in the news recently? Wendy Williams has aphasia. She, she has dementia, doesn't she? she? Doesn't she have like yeah, yeah, she has both, just two things? I yeah. think I have aphasia. Uh, isn't isn't aphasia when you don't understand English, or am I stupid? I think it's when yeah, is, she is says it when you Como Adisha <laughs> to her fucking saying. Guatemalans. <laughs> no, it's uh, isn't that when uh, is it when you can't understand, or is it when you can't form sentences? Because I'm shit at forming sentences. I don't know. I, I, I read it. For, I read it, and I. I thought she was sentence. trans for like five years straight. If I'm being honest yeah, with you, I, I think a lot I honestly, of people had that thought. I honestly didn't even know who Wendy Williams was until like maybe five years ago, when there was a bunch of controversy around like, is she going crazy? Is X, Y, and Z happening? Like, and then she ben, were you the on one that showing one me videos of her ripping ass? Just a matter of time. She's not lonely. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to talk about farting, her farting. Yeah, yeah, she farts a lot in her show for sure. Which is like dope. I'm down. We fart. I fart in my show. Well, as I think well. there's a very fine line, especially like in the gay community. Not, I mean, she's like a gay icon, but she's not gay. I think. Um, but like, there is a very fine line in that community of like, oh, what's crazy and like funny and like weird and out there, and then she is actually has dementia. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like I, 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 I watch her and I'm like, oh, this is a mentally ill person. Not that all gay people like Wendy Williams, but like, but like there is like her audience is like, oh, she's crazy and funny and like out there. And it's like, no, she's mentally ill. Like she's not <laughs> well, but true. You're, you're not wrong. Did you guys see that Marjorie Taylor Greene called Donald Trump president come earlier today? No. Go ahead. That's that's it. Is this I'm your just, news bit? Should I just look up? Um, should I just go to CNN.com and do yeah, a live news bit? You should just go, go and like just only read this the the title, and then think of like a one a one liner. Like well, that's how I write them, but I usually yeah. sit there and I think about it hey, for a moment. Some... I don't. Fuck, his name's not even there. Uh, Tristan? No, not Tristan. How is uh, your friend? Your direct friend, Ethan or e- other Ben? Well, Ethan, I'll say. Yeah, Ethan was the one I was thinking of. The guy who does all the voices. <laughs> um, uh, they're doing okay. I don't want to spoil anything, but I think maybe potentially soon on this run of the golden age of regurgitated content, we can get them back for at least once. Okay, but in true Ethan fashion, you'll you'll not know until it happens. Okay. It'll but be I, a complete. Am- it'll be a complete ambush. I'm glad he's doing something. I'm glad he's doing okay. Um, he's been really, he's been really busy. Um, you know, not to like, I don't think he gives a shit, but I do think it's weird to just talk about someone's personal life publicly hey, when they're not there. But like, he, you know, he's a swim coach, and he he oh. is he is like working multiple schools. Oh, that's right cool. now. I didn't know that. Not multiple it. schools, but like, I don't know. He 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 gets a lot of different work, and I think that he's working really hard. Oh, right he's now. a cool guy. So, I like him a lot. Oh, I love. He's he's like my best friend, but at the same time too. I haven't talked to him a whole lot recently just because of how busy mm-hmm. he is. He's getting up at like four in the morning and driving out and yeah, driving like to the other coach. side of Virginia yeah. for work and shit. So like, Ugh. you know, gross. How's a uh, how's uh, he's the funniest person I've met. Hey, uh, Sean, how's uh? Wait, I'm gonna how's... read through CNN. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Amy Schumer reveals she has Cushing syndrome. In other news, Snoop Dogg reveals he has Cushing syndrome. So stupid. Okay, this is so good so far. This is really good. Odysseus spacecraft tipped over on landing. Company that built it says, "God, I hope uh, my the next person Sean waits on over tips." Um, let's see here. Sinking ship hit by Houthi missile leaves 18 mile oil slick in Red Sea, U.S. officials say. Well, I guess that sea won't be so red anymore. <laughs> You're right, because there's, there's oil on it, and it's going to be darker red. But when it gets um, fire, it will be red. This versatile Patagonia jacket will get you through the rest of winter, and now it's half off, says CNN's chief shilling correspondent. Um. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna like. Say, it's like half off. Like you're taking it off. That's, it doesn't it doesn't get you through winter because it's like half off. Wendy it. Williams' family says they don't know her exact location. <laughs> that's funny as fuck. <laughs> that's, that should be funny. That um, be funny. Gigantic new snake species discovered in Amazon rainforest. In other news. I'm. T- I just got back from my trip to the Amazon rainforest. Yeah, because <laughs> penis. Yeah, <laughs> his dick is big. I saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah, yeah, yeah. against the bathroom walls when he was uh, turning around. We'll, we'll we'll do one more. Woman who wanted to join ISIS as a teen loses challenge against the removal of her UK citizenship. I guess she did nice to see this coming. Nice. That is, that is nice. That was so give me, good. Give Zach. me more time to workshop these yeah. bits, and I swear to God, no, they'll be I better. Think that was your best one yet, to be honest. No. I'm joining the, <laughs> no. I'm joining the Hooties. What are the Hooties? You're going to join the Hooties? Yeah. What, what is a Hootie? Why, uh, why I know I'm saying their name wrong, by the way, but they're like an ethnic group in like, oh, I'm going to get this wrong. Is they, are they in North Africa? Or are they in the Middle East? I was going to say Yemen. Is Yemen is about? Yemen North Africa or the Middle East? I feel like that's so. I, I didn't. I don't know. What do you call that? I went to school for chemistry, and I'm I'm no. I'm speaking from a place of ignorance. I'm sure there's there's someone out there who's like really well knowledgeable at this. Who's like this fucker just called Yemen. Yeah, this fucker doesn't know about Yemen. Right, I'll just Google it real hmm? quick. 
Where? No, no, it's Pokemon Day on Tuesday. And Brian's birthday. Where are the hoodies you know. from? Hoodies are large from Yemen. Oh, I was right. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Is Yemen Middle East or North Africa? I guess they could be, cons I guess you could call them West African too. Yeah, I'll show you but. exactly what I Googled because. Because I know like where Yemen is. I just don't know like what you call that. Southwest mm -hmm. Asia. That's a bit of a stretch. That's what that's what Google is saying, my brother. I mean, like, I I mean, I'm not gonna argue <laughs> with them. If that's what they identify with, then like sure, whatever. Didn't, but like didn't we have a some we knew someone in high school who was like from Egypt or near Egypt, and we're like, Yeah, you're Asian. And she was like pissed off that we kept Oh on. yeah, holy shit. Well, like, there, there are some of those countries too, like, you know, Russia is an Asian country. Like I, Iran and Afghanistan and Pakistan, like technically in like India yeah. are like Asian countries. And that kind of feels like kind of weird to say, you know? Yeah. I mean, and then there's like Georgia and Azerbaijan, which are like, some people would say that they're like Asian countries. But like, if you look at, look at Yemen on a map, you got all of Saudi Arabia between them and everything else. No one's looking at Saudi Arabia going, yeah, they're Asians, Asian. Yeah. You got Israel up they're, there too. Like they're not Asian. They're good at math, but neither here nor there. I want to go to Sakutra pretty bad, dude. Or Sakotra? I don't know how to... The fuck are you guys talking about? Say dude, names look up pictures of Sakotra. It's amazing. Say and names I want to I go, know. but it's in Yemen, so it's kind of difficult about, to get to. Last podcast, you talk about fucking Sipak Tara. Now you're talking about whatever. Who's Steve on, Pak Tara? Dude? dude, you brought it up. The I genuinely don't know. You said, Who's you Steve Pak Tara? You said, hi, hi, I'm Zach. Uh, I uh, there. I know this word called Sipak Tara. It's people. That, oh, Sipak Tara. You talked about it like it was a man. I know Sipak Tara. Yeah, and you said you said oh you said oh they play volleyball with their feet. That's how you said it. Did you put up? Did you look up the footage of Sipak Tara for the yes, podcast? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh my god, thank you. More people need to watch Sipak Tara. It is kind of cool. <laughs> Can I buy a jersey? Um, I'm thinking about going to bed and <laughs> Okay, but remind me to tell you at some point about the the slaves I'm involved with. Why don't you say it right now? Can you say that right now or no? Can you cut it from the episode? <laughs> oh, I can do whatever you need me to do. Sure, dude. I'm talking uh, yeah, to bed. I, I can cut it, sure. And scene. Anyway, so I'm going to go to bed. Was that Arch a fun story shot? Oh, I, I, yeah. enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I did it. Telegram. Okay. One pace. On your phone. Go to sleep. No. Uh, I'm going to attempt to actually do the full 30 days. We will see. Does that count? Uh, Does Telegram count? Yes. Does the and golden era of so, regurgitated so, content count? So, no, no. I mean, friend stuff is fine, but in spirit, the idea is not to like scroll aimlessly, and which is obviously not what's happening. But maybe if, you can just watch if, our videos on repeat to fill the void. What if? What if I called? Or what if I called an executive of One Piece and said, "Hey," and became friends with him, and then I introduced you to him? Could you watch One Piece at that point? If you did that, we would have many other things to talk about. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but uh, Zach, Ben, I love your stuff. I love you. I can't wait for you to see more of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very, I'm genuinely very excited. I'm glad to see you guys are doing well and good. Come on to the next one. I will yeah, make the attempt. Uh, and I will send Tristan a message and some point, if I get my mental health in check, I will start making my own shit again. Maybe y'all two yes. can go to therapy together. Should I invite you I guys? Can I send you guys the Zoom link? Dude, we can, yeah, we can, can we hire... all do group therapy together? That'd be cool. That'd be fun content, honestly. We gotta hire a group therapist and all been recorded for the I'll podcast. Find one. I'll find one. There you go. Arizona is not a two-party consent state. I can record him without his knowledge and it's perfectly legal. I can't oh, vouch for your yeah. states. That's actually pretty funny. But if he's in, if he's in Arizona, he I secretly shit. recorded my therapist. <laughs> I actually, funny enough, a, a few, multiple jobs that I have taught me that, not just one. It smells so good. Well, you know. yeah, there's I the worked for Ring ad. Video Doorbells. I'm aware of what states you can record people without their consent in. Oh, oh that's, well, a, that's a good point. So, like, if you have a Ring Doorbell, 
and you're in a third party consent state, do you have, or is that like your private property? Is there no, there are certain states where if you set up a ring device, it automatically turns on a feature where if it detects motion or you ring the doorbell, the doorbell or camera audibly says you are being recorded. Fascinating stuff. That and some people will call in and complain that they can't turn it off, and will scream at customer service when I tell them that their state laws prevent me from turning it off. That's really yeah. that's that's unironically that's very interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. Arizona. Fuck you. I'm recording you. I'm jerking off in my car. What's this guy hey, talking well, about? Have a nice night. I'll enjoy. Uh, I'll enjoy Bye. that last thought. Um, All right, buddy. Enjoy and, the porn. Uh, I'll jerk keep off in touch. before bed. Um, ben, did you want to reschedule what we were going to do Thursday, or do we just say fuck it and go to next Thursday? Yeah, just do, just do it again oh, Thursday. Okay, I think I'll see you guys around. All right, later, dude. Bye. <sighs> bitch ass, bitch ass. So Ben, how does it so feel now, just us. knowing that you have another two hour podcast to edit on a week time crunch with other content? If I can get again, if I got the one that I got done in a week, I can get this one done in a week because that one was watched. Fair enough. Cool. Yeah. Fair given, enough. Given I have time. I, I'm worried about because I was thinking about this because busy season in insurance happens around September, October, November ish area. You've got to preload content before then. Well, yeah, but I won't be able to if we do like another season of CNS mm-hmm. around that time. That's we can't do that. Is what I'm saying. So we'd have to do it. Oh before yeah, that. it would have to be more delayed editing. Yeah, it would have to be more delayed editing, and I would have to take on more work. You know what I thought about, Zach? I was thinking about think the about? idea of evergreen content, and that we've had consistently kind of not because podcasts. I think, I mean, there are bits that are evergreen, but there are it's also fairly topical because you do we do this you know on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. This is our first real attempt at like evergreen content. Yeah, or content that's targeted for people. Yeah. Which I know goes back to our initial conversation of like personal de- personal fulfillment versus like growth and numbers and audience and shit like that. The first set of content we have to actually target people because with the podcast, I love it. I love talking to you. I love hearing my sexy little voice. I hate seeing my face sometimes. That being said, I do think like you got to pick a random moment from the episode to make the whole branding of it. And then who does it go to? And then even if you get someone to click on it, the odds of them wanting to watch two random people they haven't met talk for three hours is probably very small. So now it's like this video is about this thing and it's for people that watch stuff like this. And then we can send it out to them, you know, and I don't know, maybe it means nothing. But I think we're pushing towards stuff that we can control a little bit more. Yeah. And. I think it's a little bit more satisfying as far as the end result. Cause it's like, I know the podcast is, is fun and I love talking to you and I love the conversational piece of it. And I love just shit shooting the shit with everybody. But <clears throat> it is kind of like, how much can you do in a, in a two hour, two and a half hour podcast? You know, I mean, you could do a lot, I guess, but like, I don't know. You don't want to like over edit a, a podcast to make it. Yeah. Annoying. I think, if we live near each other, I think this would be so flipped. I think that you would get like weekly CNS videos and then like a once a month podcast. Yeah, that would be more fun for me for sure. But I think yeah. CNS, I mean, I think just to, not even saying that I don't enjoy making this, but it's like who, you know what I mean? Like how much life yeah. can you live in a week? And I think sprinkling some CNS, I think the, the sprinkle of CNS is good. I think that regurgitated should is good to staying, you know, just like a bi-weekly little meme. And I think that CNS is like, you just do little, little funsies, little dangerous yeah. funsies on top of everything. I think that I we, 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 I think that we've also realized that we're kind of okay with operating in like spurts, you know, maybe it's not the best for the YouTube algorithm, but like whatever we have to do to make the content good, like this is going to be what? Six or 12 weeks. 12 How many weeks, weeks of content? 12 weeks. 12 of weeks. Content. Yeah. Damn, wait, I, I I totally underestimated it. I was doing my math like we were uploading every week. So wait, that's three months, right? Yeah, we have we have uploads until May. Oh, dude, that's so nice. Yeah. That's so sick. Yeah. Oh, we should just do that four times a year. Sure. 
you have to just come out here. <laughs> but yeah. Did you just did you just like have a mental breakdown or what was that? I I'm down for that. You you have to we have to be together physically. Okay. When can what I come out again? again? Any day now. <laughs> What's okay, tomorrow? Next week. Sure. That's what you want to do. Do you hate I'm done for anything? I'm done for <laughs> anything, dude. Well, we'll get together and we'll we'll plan more. But I imagine after this series of videos, there'll be a break of some sort. It might be a little bit small. It might be the same length as it was last time. But however long it takes for us to like re ramp up, you know what I mean? This is our creative gush that we're gonna gush out there, you know. Um and you know, it doesn't have to be followed up immediately. And that's fine. Yeah. We want to do, do, give it again a little sprinkle. Leave leave people on edge. Don't over don't oversaturate. I get it. I get that shit. I'm a marketer. You know what I mean. I know this shit. I make the best thumbnails. Best you do thumbnails. make better thumbnails than me. When I thumbnails. get in my thumbnail bag, I can cook up. But half the time when I go to make a thumbnail, I'm like, this ah. looks so dog shit. Yeah. This looks so dog shit. So that's something that like I know. Because I, I get really passionate when we when we talk. I, I always ask for like feedback on my edits and stuff, and then the same thing will always happen. Where like I get genuine feedback and I tell people I need genuine feedback, but then I push back on their feedback. Yeah, which is ironically the same thing that happened to me when I was in like actual therapy. Was like mm-hmm. I'd be like I need help with these issues, and then my therapist would like reflect back, like essentially what I'm saying back to me, and then I'm like disagreeing with all of it. You know, like, that's no what bitch. I do to my friends mm-hmm. when I get feedback for uh, stuff like this. But what, but that, but that's just because I'm so in love with the process and I'm yeah. so in love with like what I do. But when it comes to like thumbnails, I'm like, I know how important this is. I suck at it. I can't, if, if I was like running a YouTube channel that made money, the first job I'd hire out would be like titles, thumbnail guy, title yeah. thumbnail guy. That'd be the first job. I think you're pretty you good. Know? At th- I think you're pretty good at titles, but they the, the thumbnails. The I, titles less so. Titles I can work with. The thumbnails, like making the thumbnails. It, that first first person I, I source out. It takes aside a, from maybe like an assistant editor to be like, can you please get some of the tedious shit out of my way? Yeah. Well, it takes a bit for me to get uh, inspired to make a thumbnail. Like I, I really have to be like I, I've. As I've seen on other multiple podcasts, I, when I don't have in, uh, a inspiration, it's kind of just like a mid thumbnail, which is all right. It's fine. I mean, who cares? Mid is fine. But then I get good ones, uh, you know, which I hope this uh, a few of the uh, the new the CNS thumbnails are pretty good. I think the first yeah. one is pretty good. The one, the one you showed me was good. I yeah. do wonder though, like I don't know if you look at the engagement or the reach, I should say, on the analytics of all of our videos. It's like... Yeah. But then also we're uploading three hour long videos. So I'm like, I That'll it'll change. be very interesting to me to see what the analytics on this are. Yeah. I am perfectly okay with them being a miss. I'll be disappointed, yes. There'll be a little part of me that's like, oh man, I was really excited about that. But... As we were talking about earlier, just the fact that they exist, even if mm-hmm. it's just on my hard drive, is like so cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I am excited to get them out there, though, and for people to see it. And I hope people see it. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's an it's an interesting thought. Yeah, I, I know that we do this thing where we talk about the channel on the channel continuously. Yeah, it's, it's like, like we rappers get, get rapping excited. about rapping. Exactly. Um, so I. I but I, I think we're more like very, yappers yapping about yapping. We are yappers yapping, yapping Dude, about yapping. Dude, that rhyme too. Yeah, that was pretty cool. You're pretty. I think you should be a rapper rapping about rapping instead of yapper yapping about yapping because you can rhyme all the time on a dime. Your poet doesn't know it. Whatever the fuck they always say. Yeah. Um. But I think we're both just extremely, extremely excited for this bit of yeah, content. Just, you know, because we. I feel like off. I feel like honestly, from like episode one, we kept saying. Better stuff's coming. Better stuff's coming. Better stuff's coming. This is the and better stuff, us, dude. This is the better stuff, I know, stuff, and, and dude. it's like, I always felt like, when are we going to get to better stuff? And then when I really sat down and realized it's going to take me flying across the fucking country 
and sitting down and working through just a big splurt of content. A big splurt. To make it happen. And once I accepted that, we're here. Like, it feels we're so, here. like, again, I, I it hasn't happened yet. When we're recording this, it hasn't happened yet. The first in real life thing comes out tomorrow when we're recording this. But when you're watching this, it should already have happened. So, like, I imagine... I just really want to get it out there. I imagine I'm feeling so excited and relieved at the same time that it's out there, but it hasn't actually happened to me yet. So talk to me next time and then you'll get a true reaction about yeah. it. But like, yeah. I know what I think I'll feel, you know, mm-hmm. and that feels pretty good. Yeah. So I, uh, I, I'm over oh well. the moon. I'm over yeah. the moon about it. Um, I have a, oh, uh, well, I know, do you have a point you're trying to get to? Cause I have a question for you. No, I, oh, I, Kinda I, related. I, I just, I think that I, I guess my point is that we're just we're both so fucking excited to see how this next in 12 love. weeks plays oh, out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And in love. Uh, um so I have a semi adjacent question for you. Tell so me. like this is just hypothetical. Like what does Ben want? What does Ben get fulfilled in? Where how can I fill Ben? Um you've already did. <clears throat> so in, in a hypothetical example where this or your personal channel or Whoa. whatever. Does it look you, fucked? <laughs> bend it, it back in place. Of, it does kind of look fucked, right? <clears throat> Go ahead. Sorry. In, in a hypothetical example where either this channel or your personal channel or whatever, like it is in terms of like making content that you're doing ever grows to the point where it's making money. It is some kind of business of sorts do you see yourself ever getting out of the editor role or is that something that you always want to be in the edit? Is that where like your creativity is? Wow. That is or, a great. Do, a great or do you, do you think, do, or do you think that you could still be truly creative, creatively fulfilled, delegating those tasks and managing those roles? So I didn't, I, what is this? This isn't a job interview, but I'm genuinely yeah, curious no, for you because you strike me as the type of person that I, I, I truly love the process too, but I love every part of it. I love yeah. every little nitty gritty thing. I see you as a very hands-on person. Mm-hmm. I think you really love the tasks and like doing <laughs> stuff do. yourself. I do. I do. And so I just, I just wonder for you, how do you visualize that for yourself? If you were successful in building whatever it is you want to build. So there I'll start with that. There are many, many times where we'll have a conversation and I will have an answer that I maybe at the time even believe, or maybe it's sometimes a cop out answer. And I have a channel that I want to kind of just, you know, in a much less long form um, type of way, kind of answer those, answer some of those questions. This is one of the ones where I'm like, I probably have a, sh- a kind of two IQ answer now. Maybe in the future, I have a I have a different answer. But like, I want to do the fun part, if that makes sense. Is like, that editing for you? So when I when I say the fun part, I mean the fun part of editing. Yeah, specifically, I, the the fun part of editing is like the not, like for example, the podcast that came out tomorrow was a. A lot of there's the multicam part, obviously, but there's also the audio well, fixing part. That's which, why I was like, I said the first hire would be thumbnails, and then I corrected it, and I was like, well, actually, it might be an assistant editor, just because again, compiling all of that stuff the, yeah, in the, ways un- that are very tedious, exactly, it's just time consuming. Like it just simply is very time horrible. consuming. The unfun portion of it, I would love to hand off to anybody. And I, I'm even looking into like, obviously for the audio, it wouldn't work, but I'm looking into like scripting for the multicam part, because I'm sure I think that is possible where you can run a script and it will on, on Vegas and it'll just multicam for you. Almost certain. That they have that. similar tools like that for Premiere. I think a lot of them are paid. We tried them at work because I work as a video editor and um, they're never like quite right. Now, to be fair, it's been like six months since we really tried it. But I remember when we were playing around with those options to like fix our like stuff for podcasts, it would always be like off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not looking for perfection on that. I'm not, I'm not looking for that to be one and done, no touching, but I, I would like that the main portion of the cutting to be done. And then I can just move it to the left, you know, a few, uh, 
I hear you. Seconds. Um, but I want to do the fun part of the editing always. I mean, it, pretend I had, you know, five million subs, right? And I was, uh, I definitely had the personality part down. Like I, I was like, you know, I, I was very forward fate. You know, I, I knew how to deal with an audience and I knew how to like, how to like play to my audience. I was getting consistent viewership, whatever. I would still want to have some sort of executive executive role in the edit. If, if that was hand, I would love that to be hands on, but even if it didn't have to be hands on, I'd be okay with that too. As long as I had a say to, for the, for edits. I know, I know there are a lot of YouTubers that are like, they just kind of like trust their editors and their guy. Yeah. And that's fine. I mean, that's, I think that's great for the, for both people. If you trust your editor, that's great. I, as someone who loves to edit videos, don't think I could have that trust in someone. How do you, how do you feel trusting me with some of these CNS edits? Well, I have, I have full, like I give you every note that I think of. So it's like I, I I have full and I have full trust in your ability ability to edit, but I still like I wouldn't. It would be hard for me to just give you the video and just be like I upload it whenever it's done. Like I would I would be difficult for me, you know. Um, That's really interesting to me, and there's there's something I want to say about that. Not on this okay. video yeah. about that afterwards, but uh, um, it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with okay. you. Um. um well, and, but no, well, the, I, I appreciate that about you, though, by the way, about how even though we can disagree on things, we're both truly like in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think, yeah, I think that like we, I get, that brings us back to the editing style thing where it's like we clearly yeah. have a different editing style. That's fine. Very clearly. But at the same time, too, like I think that that creates a lot of you know interesting dynamics and we bring a lot of ideas to each other we wouldn't other, otherwise have. And I don't know how you feel. Maybe you turn off the camera or discord and you cry at night. But for me, I think that it's cool that I don't have to take what you say personally. I know that you're just trying to make a banger video. You know what I mean? And you have a yeah. strong vision. The same so. thing. I think, I think you're a little more, bit more blunt with your words sometimes, but I think that's the same, same idea. I, I, do, do, do you actually cry <laughs> when you turn off Discord? You can be blunt with really me too. Funny. I push back just because I I like what I do personally, but it's never no, no, from no, a place it, of like it's you're the same, wrong. It's the same thing. I'm just such a little pansy bitch that I'm just like, oh, maybe do this, maybe, but I don't know, but I don't know, but maybe I'm thinking that you might. <laughs> we, like, we're going to manage a company where it's every, all passive aggressive. Every every note that I gave you had like an IDK or a maybe somewhere in there. I had that I, somewhere in mine too. Yeah. Maybe not to the extent that you did, but yeah. I was like, I don't know if this idea is worth it, but. Um, try this anyway um but yeah i would i always want to def i i can i would never give the editing portion away unless it was obvious i i want the boring editing to be done for me but the the you know the timing of it the, the music ed- additions the the choice of music a lot of the times is like very very important to me because I, I this is what i told and i said i've said this a million times i think what i what uh when I was talking to Evan and Sean about editing, Evan was talking about uh, how good my editing was and how good <laughs> this is going to sound kind of backwards or not backwards, but like uh, a backhanded compliment. He was talking about how good my editing was and how good Sean's personality for YouTube is. Right. And, and Evan was kind of talking about how like my edits you know, always have something to him or something like that. And I was like, all editing really takes for me and I think in general is just like just good timing. It's just it's all, like all about timing, all about knowing where what to cut and what not to cut, and and, timing, and that's it. pace and tone. Yeah, I mean it's like it's 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 not there's, much- an L, there's like storytelling too. But honestly, and I I don't mean to interrupt you here, but I have like a bit of a nitpick or a bit of a gripe with like editing ed- with editors, and this is coming from someone who's made their career editing videos for other people. This fuck. Everyone needs to stop talking about storytelling. Shut the fuck up. The amount of like people in job applications that I've seen, or you know, people that are giving notes on things, and they just blanket statements say storytelling. Get better at storytelling. I'm good at storytelling. I'm an expert at telling a story. It's all they can never define what they're talking about. It's just that. They're 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 talking about these abstract feelings and emotions. Now I, I'm being very um, 
critical here, right? Like clearly storytelling is important. It's one of the more important parts of a video. Like I do think storytelling is a real skill set a video editor can have. I think 90% of the people out there though saying, oh yeah, I just, we're just trying to tell compelling stories are bullshitting you. These like, like, they, they, they can't like ask these people to define what they mean by storytelling. 90% of them can't who, who do it. Who are you it. talking about? I don't know who you're talking about. I mean, I don't have anyone to name off by, by hand, but I've just seen like, I've watched so many YouTube videos where they just say, get better at storytelling, learn how to tell a compelling story. But like in most editing roles, like you, you, you don't have a ton of control over that. You really don't. What? And I've seen other editors like either apply for positions or that I'm talking to where they just try to like talk this big game about their edits, about talking how much of a fucking storyteller they are. But if you truly ask them, what do you mean by that? They just start talking about tone, pacing, that type of stuff. Like it's yeah, very basic. It's it's people trying to make again. It's what I do. It's what I'm very passionate about. And I do think storytelling is a real thing and it is a real skill set. And it is something you can get better at and be an expert at. And it is something that an editor can bring to the table that can just skyrocket whatever it is you're trying to make. But I'm just saying to people out there that are editors or work with editors or hire editors or whatever, do it. Just ask them. The next time an editor is talking to you and they're talking about how great of a fucking storyteller they are, ask them to define that. Tell them what they mean. Ask them what they mean by that. Because I feel like they get away... They get away with just that shit all the time. Sorry, I guess I, I guess I still don't understand. When you say story, do you mean like, are you talking about it in like a sense of like a podcast work? Because I know I'm not a good storyteller. That's what I'm talking about. None of these people can answer that question. They're all out like making how to be an editor YouTube videos, how to make do business as an editor, how to grow as an editor YouTube videos. And they all tell you, learn story, learn how to tell a compelling story, learn like the video arcs and all that kind of stuff. And then like, you know, I'll, I'll be around these like hiring decisions around editors and the amount of people that just throw out storytelling as a blanket term is a lot. And then the people that are like, you know, it, it handing off work to a bunch of editors are always talking about storytelling, but none of these people know what the fuck they're talking about. None of these people, they're just saying that as like a buzzword. You know what I mean? So let's, let's, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to grasp cause I don't never heard that. So that's why I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to, Maybe what, I'm, maybe like, I have heard that in a different word. So when I when I when, when I how I'm gathering what you're saying is normally I hear it as making a narrative, right? So you, yes. you like for example, like uh, like a you know like a guy plays uh, uh, some shitty Pokemon game and he slowly loses his mind, and you can tell by certain like points in the video that he's kind of like it's kind of breaking his brain a little bit. Tink 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 throughout the video, and then he finally at the end loses his mind. Is that like kind of like the narrative building that you're talking about, or are you talking about something completely different? Ben, what I'm telling you is there are people out there in the world who are applying for jobs as editors or are managing editors or whatever, and they, they, they say the word storytelling, and you think in your mind whatever you think that is, and you go, whoa, and that's what the reaction they're expecting internally, but they themselves don't know what it is. You in your mind are thinking okay, like, you're, okay, you're, well, you're that within the general. edit, I'm... Yeah, I, I, well, I get it. I'm not yeah. I'm not getting specific with it because yeah. my complaint with the thing is when people are working with editors in any capacity, the term storytelling, tell a compelling story gets thrown out there. But very few times when I'm in these conversations or watching these videos, can anyone clearly define what the fuck they're actually talking about? It's all yeah. corporate buzzwords. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like like fucking talking about synergy. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's like your manager comes over to you and they're like, just make it pop. What are you talking about? Like, what does that mean? You know what I mean? Like, but what bothers me about the storytelling thing is it's not just people that are managing them. It's the editors themselves. They're bullshitting their employers, whoever they may be, or their clients by talking about storytelling. When they don't know what the fuck, how to, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what a story is. They're getting stuff that someone else scripted out so, for okay. them. So and they understand tone. They understand pace. And they understand emotion. 
right? And they understand like where the audience is starting to get bored and what their medium is and what's effective in those mediums. And those are all very valuable skill sets, but they're not breaking it down in that way. They're just going to whoever's paying them money and talking about how they learned a compelling story or they're applying for a job and going like, oh yeah, I've spent 10 years learning how to craft a narrative and build a compelling story. But they're not going to actually sit there and elaborate on what that means because it's going to like stack up against uh, cause it's a very intangible thing. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it's almost like in the world of sports, like, like when you talk about like quarterbacks, there's like just a level of just like, they know what to do that like another like quarterback doesn't have. It's like a very similar thing. But again, I want to be very clear. I do think the process of storytelling and how to tell a narrative and how to tell a compelling story are real things. And they are things you can get better at and you could be an expert in them. And I think like, to me, it a requires that editor to be in a role where they're getting like a lot of footage and they have more say in like how the story actually flows and how the story actually goes. And then I think B as well too, even if you don't have that, you know, there is an element of like, um, like, like truly world building within your edit that I would consider that to be the storytelling skill but only 10% of these people in YouTube videos that I've watched about that subject actually encapsulate what that is. Yeah. The other 90% of people are bullshitting you. I'm sorry. It's like they're applying for some shitty job and they're talking about, uh, like how good of, of fuck like there are, I don't know. Well, you, you know what I'm trying to say? I don't have another specific example to compare it to, but there are definitely skills out there that people just say as a buzzword, you know? So I, when I, when I think of storytelling, I, as far as editing, I think of it more as like a. Well, I imagine when you personally are watching YouTube tutorials, Ben, it's more technical. You, when you're looking up how to edit something, if I'm gathering this correctly, it's more of like the technical skills as to how to accomplish what your yeah. vision oh, yeah. is. Because you have a vision. You're a creative person. You're someone who's truly convicted in your creative vision for a project. And when you're seeking out guidance or information, it's how to technically accomplish that. I'm not talking about you when I'm talking about storytelling. I'm talking about these people who are the opposite of you that have only technical abilities, but go around telling people that they're a storyteller. Like they have some intangible thing that other people can't touch when they just simply know that how to cut up and pace a video. You know what I mean? Yeah. There might, there's gotta be something we're missing. Cause what, okay. Let me, let me, I, let me give you my understanding. Cause when I don't want to make this whole thing about this. It's just no, my I, personal I, I like gripe that, that I like I've that. noticed. I like your gripe. I do like your gripe. You like my gripe? I did you, did you, I, I this is the first idea. Like, they're the first um, example that came to my head. Did you watch the channel five video of them crossing the border? No, I saw that they did it. I don't know. I've seen Andrew Callahan in person multiple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I used to love his content. I haven't watched it since he came back. I don't know yeah. how I feel. So that video had a compelling hook. You know, it had it had a, a great setup. You know, it had a, a journey, it had mm-hmm. a dark moment, return home, conclusion. Right. I so I see kind of like the idea of like a story what storytelling. Every video, oh not every video, but, but almost every video has a story to it. I I don't understand why that should matter, especially if you're not making narrative driven content. I, and so I'm I'm agreeing um, with you to some degree. You know, yeah, I, I think it's kind I, of stupid. I I, I want to. I think there's a bigger point you're trying to make about the Andrew Callahan stuff that I want to get back to. But I I think what you're trying to say is like, okay, well, in the new content that we're trying to make, does it necessarily for that need exa- to have, for this example? Yeah, that that would be yeah. Perfect. Does it yeah. need to have this structure of like, okay, but there's a problem and then it gets solved and then like there's an arc to it all. Yeah. Um, and I think the the answer for us is a little more gray. Um. I think sometimes it doesn't need a true story. I'm okay with something just being funny and that's, you know, okay with me. And I personally am someone that enjoys a lot of really like avant-garde and out there shit. Not saying that I'm trying to be some fucking artist with it or anything. I'm not going to be that pretentious, but like 
I enjoy that type of shit personally, so I am okay with producing stuff that fits that mold. That being said, I do think it is the it, very real things are having like a strong hook. You know what I mean? Like, how do you capture people's attention right away? And if I am going to spend this amount of time with you in this video watching it, how do I how do I feel walking away from it? And I think that again, I'm not going to spoil the uh, what the last video in this new series we're doing is because that's a part of I feel like this conversation that I'm trying to touch on. Some of Tristan's notes were there's not really a payoff, and I agree with him. I think that you know potentially there should be you know we should think through a little bit more like what like these videos are about and how we want people to leave the video's feeling. But what that doesn't mean is that we should be less free. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? What that doesn't mean is we, we got to sit down and think of like, okay, what are we going to say in this video and how are we going to act? And wh- you know, what's the beginning, middle and end to this? It's, you know, just more so thinking through like, you know, what are the opportunities we can provide ourselves while we're doing this? Right? Like, what is this really about? What are we trying to get out of this? You know what I mean? Yeah, and how, yeah. what can we do to make sure that that happens while we're, while we're filming it? Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, like absolutely. maybe I'm overthinking it. And again, I'm just so happy to be fucking doing it. I, and I don't mean to give you these like two sides where I'm like, on one hand, I'm telling you all the shit that I want to do. And on the other hand, I'm like, but I'm cool with whatever. That's not what I'm trying to do to you. Yeah. I'm just thinking out loud to answer your question. Like does like, like is storytelling important for that? I think in a way it is. But I also think that storytelling can take many different shapes or form. And for us, its form can be more water than concrete. Yeah, fucking Smosh was uploading fucking uh, 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 like Pokemon theme cover. And they got fucking huge off of stuff like that. So, I mean, we don't have to worry about that much, about that kind of stuff. I, I, but um, I, I do find it annoying. I do find, I, I, I do don't know much about Smosh, so I can't answer you, but there's definitely like TikTok videos about like, like with half of it being fucking filling a tube full of rice and the other half being uh, a yeah. temple run, yeah. uh, subway surfers or whatever, and family guy clips. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think, I don't know. I think in life, this isn't even talking about our content or what I'm trying to do with anything. I just think in life in general, you can get as granular with anything as you want and you can get as abstract with anything as you want. I think it's truly up to you how detailed you want to break down and how nitty gritty you want to get into literally anything. I can sit there and say that, you know what, man, life just like life as a whole in the universe just is what it is. Or I could sit here and really focus on the grains of the wood on my desk and really think about how they got there and the life of this tree and the production cost it took for me to get here yeah. and what part of the tree this was for. You know what I mean? Like, like, like you can overthink anything and you can also think in these big abstractions too. It's funny. I was having this conversation with someone recently and maybe this is a little too philosophical for what your question is, but the conversation was about like, um, do you believe everything happens for a reason? And I had essentially said that, you know, I wasn't quite sure that there are oftentimes parts of my life where it ebbs and flows one way or another. Yeah. And, um, I said at one point, and this is kind of like, Whoa, deep, deep, whatever. But the more I think about it, the more I'm kind of resonating with it is some people believe that, th- um, uh, not that some people believe that some people believe everything happens for a reason. People that don't believe that believe might believe that for another reason. You know what I mean? Like there are some people out there that if they, if they look down, if they're walking on a tightrope and they look down at the fall below, they're going to fall. You know what I mean? And so for them having this confidence of everything happens for a reason, that philosophy, however that manifests itself for you, it could be religion. It could be something else keeps you going forward right? This confidence and belief that you'll get there. But then on the other hand, there are some people that need to look down and know that they could fall to take the shit seriously to get to the end. Right. And I think that like when it comes to this conversation, how granular do you want to get about storytelling? There are people out there who will appreciate the little details that you do and the level of effort that you're putting in to 
truly craft this and hone in on this exact thing that you're looking for. And on the other hand of it, there are people out there that appreciate you for being you and just want an authentic experience. However, that comes. I'm right. I, you know, I totally, I totally agree. Which is a Japanese way of just saying it's whatever the fuck Who you want it to be. Fuck? Who, gives, Who a gives a fuck? That's right. Read Albert Camus, dude. Or yeah, Albert l- Camus. L- however l- you fucking Americans want to say it. Read Bernie Brown, Shane Dawson's therapist. You'll figure yeah. it out. Hey, do you want the um, Zachary Marshall basic bitch white guy therapy philosophy guide? Uh, listen to Brene Brown. Listen to her uh, audio book and her TED talk. And then read uh, a myth of Sisyphus, The Myth of Sisyphus by Albert Camus. I read The Stranger. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I, I get his philosophy and his point. I read The Myth of Sisyphus. You can skip The Stranger. Whatever. Did you read The Silmarillion? I don't know what that is. Don't got a fantasy geek with me right now. Yeah, you're it's dealing J. with J. a R. fucking Tolkien. armchair philosopher. It's Tolkien. Did I really just yap for 20 minutes about nothing? Yeah, but that's where, dude, let's start a podcast. The <laughs> podcast. Did you did you want to mention something about the Andrew Callahan video that was more direct towards that video? No, no. I just, didn't watch it, but I thought that there was maybe a potential part of that that we were missing. No, it just the it was a wonderfully crafted story throughout and in, in, in kind of impro- improvisational to some extent, but um, yeah. I don't think everybody needs to have that to be a good, a good video. And I don't think that's an essential thing to be a good video editor. So I, that's why I, I was agreeing with you that that's a stupid bullshit thing and that nobody can explain to you what that means. What that means to me might mean something different to you. Well, that means I think that we should get on a call with with Tristan and talk about this, not because I'm like, you got to listen to what he's saying, man. I just think you two have very wildly different views on this. And I think it would be really fun to have he that also conversation. Makes completely different. I mean, frankly, he makes content I very much like, but he makes completely different content than, I, than we make. Yeah, so. he does. But I, I think that's still why it's fun. Yeah. I don't know. Not to like put you guys in a cage Bro, fight. We a have to match, fucking debate on a delay, dude. I don't want to do that. That is true. That is true. <laughs> do that. Can, can we start a debate podcast, please, dude? Yeah. It's called debate on a delay. And everyone's on a delay. Mas- I mean, it would be too easy to call masturbator or masturbating. But like that. Or not I'm masturbated. sure that's free. It might be. But masturbated would be good. Because regurgitate, you see, are we making? Are we should we upload ejaculated exclusively to OnlyFans and see what happens there? Yeah, yeah. that'd be funny as fuck. I don't have any concerns about what the YouTube algorithm will do to us there. So the, yeah, go the first for episode it. is going to be me featuring only Isaiah, and we're going to talk about One Piece. I don't know. Should I message Isaiah and say Ben wants to have a one-on-one conversation with you about OnlyFans content? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, but and I, see I, where that goes. I, this would be a fun idea. I would definitely have to get up to date in one in one piece first before that happens, which shouldn't take too long. But I would be done. How do you feel now that this podcast is two and a half hours long? Ah, okay. Nothing, ain't nothing but a thing. I've never heard just. I've never heard it without the G. G thing. G check, G check, G check, G yeah, check. Yeah, I still don't know what that. Just, you, you have to like get a, pa- like a get a pass to go into the hood. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like that. I mean, look, you can walk through most neighborhoods and be fine, but like if you're going to be like filming something or doing some kind of business, typically in, in a gang affiliated area, you're going to have some like leader of their gang or organization come up and they got G check you. But they were just bros. I thought they were just dudes having a good time. But they're gonna want <laughs> they some. They're gonna dudes. want some. They're gonna want some money for you to like let you do your thing in those areas. Bro, always everybody. The rappers always have to put up with it all the time because, like, for like people that are like the the type of rappers that like talk about like like gang banging and that kind of stuff will sometimes complain that like they went to like a new state or something. And then they got robbed or are being threatened because they didn't like do a check with whatever the local like 
gang they're affiliated How the fuck you is. Figure that out. Who you who you messaging to get a, the gang information? Is there like a website? Do they got a social media? For this? <laughs> yeah, they actually have uh, forms. <laughs> they they have they Excel uh, sheets that you got to fill yeah, out. <laughs> they're on like dot shivter, like dot form websites. They're on like dot wix websites talking yeah, what, to each other. I don't understand how you're supposed to figure out who's the boss. Who's the um, boss? Um who is a uh, god? I'm going to get I'm going to get this I don't, this is the type of thing that I don't want to like mess up. I know his name, but I'm between two things. Uh hold on. Tuki. That was it. I almost called him Pookie. Tuki Tuki was the founder of the uh Crips, right? Why are you saying right to me? Oh. Ain't, wait, who's who is the MS crypt? 13? I don't know. Is um two white guys just give like base level <laughs> knowledge of of gang culture? I don't know, man. Snoop don't Dogg talk to me. Am I right to say that? And that's why, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like he a was a bit that, like, yeah, him, and, your, him and Lil yeah. Wayne wouldn't get along or something like that because Lil Wayne's a yeah. blood. Yeah, I remember. Um, yeah, Snoop Dogg killed people. People forget that. Did he? I don't remember. I, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. It was like around when Doggy Style came out. He like shot and killed a guy. Was he a nice guy? I don't know. Well, can't judge a book by its cover. Did he did he kill him or did his bodyguard kill him? Or was it like ambiguous? Remember Suge Knight killing that dude? Suge Knight hurt a lot of people, dude. I think I, I do. I'm going to say it. I think Suge Knight. And 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 A V Z E AIDS. That's what I was gonna. I was just gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Think, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. 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 I knew where you were going. I gave you AIDS. He admits to it, but honestly, at that point, you may as well. You know what I mean. Even if it didn't happen, you may as well at, at this point in his life be like, "Yeah, I gave him AIDS." Do you think? Do you think P Diddy killed Tupac or got got put out the um, hit to kill Tupac? No, that's interesting. I've tried to look into like all of these. De- it's so funny that this podcast is just us talking about potential conspiracies around gang related crimes and us just kind of keep wave free ball on it but um uh yeah so i've like done research i've looked into it I, how do i say this without making it sound like i haven't like opened up a case file i've googled shit and read articles and people doing like tldrs on the situation yeah. i don't like fully understand everything that happened there but it seems like there's a lot of like clues, for lack of a better word, that point towards Diddy. Yeah, I mean, but I, if I'm being honest with you, I don't understand them fully enough to like draw my own conclusion about it. I hope it's I hope just gotta, I read people trying to explain it, and then at the end of all their explanations, they're like, "It was probably Diddy," and I'm like, "Oh, I guess I, if it was you're saying it's probably Diddy, then Diddy maybe have done it." I don't I hope know. We get a strongly worded comment from P Diddy on this video. <laughs> yeah, I hope he starts commenting on our videos. <laughs> Motherfucker, I did not do that. I did not put the head out to kill. Didn't he get in trouble for something else recently? Uh, I don't know. Did he? Did he? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, not a touch. He's supposedly, that's kind of funny. he's supposedly gay now too. P Diddy's gay. Well, there's a lot of people that have came out and have been like, I had. (laughs) All right, dude. But there's a lot of people that have came out and have been like, yeah, I, I've had gay sex with P Diddy. Do you, do you, if if you have gay sex, does that make you gay though? No, you could be bi curious. What if you're just straight and you're just playing around? Oh, that's okay. (laughs) Then you're not bi curious. I guess. Yeah. Right. All right, all right, let's end this bitch uh, because we're at two hours, 40 minutes and we're talking about gang violence. So maybe we <laughs> got it now. No, no, no. Let's keep going down this rabbit hole. Yeah, maybe if you, we keep talking about this, we'll have to do G-checks ourselves on the regurgitated tour. You wanna, we can talk about the Epstein stuff if you want to. What? Is there new information? No, just that like he's definitely, the Clintons definitely killed him, right? Like, let's talk about that. There's a lot of shit with the Clinton kill. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know. Multi-tool. I'm not saying. Oh, yeah, this is the multi tool. The multi tool. Yo, how you, we should you the video? saw it. You saw it last week. You'll see it again 
uh, up close next week, this multi-tool, or in the next video, if you're watching this <laughs> chronologically when more people watch this channel five years in the future when this is doing amazing. Do you think Snoop um, Dogg killed Martha Stewart? Yes. Oh my God, this episode will actually get us murdered. That'd be funny as fuck, dude. We gotta get a viral TikTok of two scrawny white boys talking. Do you think, do you think that though any gang related, uh, any any person? I think most of our fans gang are gang related. Or for sure. <laughs> uh, maybe the cuddle gang, <laughs> the cuddle uh, gang. <laughs> but <laughs> but maybe uh, maybe the Gilbert goons will get us. No. Um, <laughs> Anyone that does actual gang violence would sit through 20 minutes of me talking about the abstractions of video editing and like the philosophy of, uh, you know, personal fulfillment versus like content growth. You know what I mean? Like, would they really sit through that conversation to get to a point where they would murder us? They're just going to watch one of those. Oh, they're seeing us being posted on Twitter. I'm on Twitter right now. Yeah. Someone clipped this and they put it on Twitter and now they're upset with me later on. Uh, you got like a year and a half before that happens, maybe. It's probably called Zonk now. <laughs> Zonk? This is after Zuckerberg bought it. He changed it to Zonk. I just, just get Elon off the... I don't, I don't want to get into Elon. He also fucked kids, so who cares? Allegedly. I I don't know anything about that, but... I don't care for him, so I'm willing to let it slide. <laughs> I don't, that's fine. You know, I feel like people would be upset by that too, but hey, you know what? I'm going to go on record and say it. I'm perfectly fine with my friends spreading misinformation about people I dislike. I don't care. Go at it. Here you go. And we won't get sued. Yeah. Because it's labeled as misinformation. And I Should we buy subscribers for this channel just for fun? Yeah, if just you say, say this, we have, we have just any more than, if you have any more than 107 subscribers, they're bought. It. I, I'm just scared of what it will do long term, but I like actively. I've always wanted to just openly buy subscribers. Like, don't hide it, but tell people. Yeah, I'm buying. I I'm buying. I'm faking this shit. If, if we were found out, I think we get banned. I don't want to get banned. Uh, that's yeah. See, that's the problem is that we would. Get <laughs> I just, I don't know. Like, I think it'd be so dope to be like the guy who's like, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm openly telling you I'm faking this shit. Like I just if, wanted the number. Is, is it, if we don't buy it and we make a script to make them like a little baby form of subscribers, does that, I mean, account. there's nothing stopping me from opening up a bunch of like virtual machine accounts and creating Gmails and all of them and running up the numbers and then Besides loading them that. up every day and watching our videos, I, I guess. That's how we get If tough. anyone wants to do that for us, do it, but don't tell us. Remember when Mike watched 11 podcasts at once? That was a while <laughs> ago. Have him do it with CNS when it's done. And all of the podcast, all 38 and 39, whatever podcasts. Set up a proxy. I'll admit to it right now. When I was a kid, I know that we're about to end this. When I was a kid, there was like these programs that used to just load up on like a text file, a bunch of IP addresses as like proxy IP addresses. Mm -hmm. And uh, they would just in like a fake browser, just refresh every five seconds on your YouTube video that you yep. put in yep. and you could get videos to like 200, 300 views that way. Did you, have to, did you ever have to use a proxy in school or no? Well, um, I guess not. Cause I don't know what you're talking about. So, I went to a technology school, so we were always, we had computers and we, we were blocked from certain websites, but if you used a proxy, you could get to those websites. So you just type in like fucking fried banana dot NA or something like that. And it would just be another, uh, pretty much just a free internet browser. It's fire. Huh. It sick. I, I, I used manual DNS servers in Xbox 360 to get in the modded lobbies. I used a manual DNS server. I think it was a DNS server to uh, a home get the homebrew channel on my Wii. Anyway, uh, thanks everybody for watching. It's been a it's been a good one. Uh, I was so happy to see Tristan and Sean again. Um, yep, we're gonna be uh, digital for the next however many weeks. But enjoy the next. Uh, after this, it'll be. 
Give them a teaser if they've watched through this. Give them a teaser. There will be nine more weeks of content. Here's a teaser. Uh, I was going to say, tell them it's like about like a little science kit or something. Oh, it's about a little science kit or something. It's fun. It's it's a good one. I didn't edit it, so who knows if it's fun? I made it. I made the next video. You'll see. It's all uh, me. It's all me. Thank you, everybody. Wave with me. Bye. And then this is for the outro bit. This is for the outro bit. If you want to use proxies, you're going to need more dedicated WAM. You you brought that dedicated WAM up thing, that thing twice, dude. <laughs> you brought that up twice. <laughs>